Bye guys. Let's get right into it. Brett couldn't find love the first time, even though he should have chose Heather, but whatever. This is not an easy life to just fall into for any girl. So that woman that's gonna be with me has to be someone very special. This time we're starting with 20 ladies. So it's much more manageable. Brett can actually take his time and put more attention into each girl, learn more about them, and hopefully make a better decision this time. As soon as he sees me, he will definitely be in love with me. I've come to get Brett and I'm not leaving till I get what I came for. This season we're in a completely new house. Maybe they got a bigger budget this time. This house is much nicer. It's looking way more like The Bachelor now. Let's meet some of the new lovely ladies. I am bisexual. I love making out with hot, sexy women. If I'm not getting it from Brett, then I'm gonna go find some hot girl to make out with. In Russian, it's Ya Pravilna Devachka de Tiba. Wibiri I wanna fuck Brett first and then I'll make love to him. We're in for a fun ride. <laughs> Holy crap. My heart starts beating and I'm just like, I'm feeling really freaking nervous right now. Brett pulls up in a sick Ferrari. Brett's like, the first season did not work out. We had a lot of rock of like, a ton of rock of lust, but very, very little rock of love, right? This we know, Brett, because this is season two. So clearly you didn't fall in love. Be ready to go in there and rock this house. I was totally blown away. These girls were beautiful. I felt like a lucky man. It's a good day to be alive. One way that I know how to find true love, right, is to go back into this house, get completely naked, then have an awesome party, right? So that's what we gotta do. Here comes good old Big John. What's a going on? <laughs> and we get a what's a going on. Three minutes in and our boy Brett says his catchphrase. <laughs> my mark and those of you that know me from the first season may remember the ground rules please be respectful of the gear treat it as if it was your own please do not enter brett's room or quarters unless escorted or invited and last but not least please keep the puke into a minimum i don't like cleaning it up big john is a comedian he seems like he's fun to have around everyone's like smiles and hi how are you so nice to meet you but my heart's just like boom Going into this, my biggest fear is being eliminated before I even get inside the house. Let's see if they'll eliminate any girls right off the bat like they did last time. I want all those decisions of who stays, who goes to be mine. Because last year, one of those girls that left could have been someone I could have fallen in love with. Ah, uh, okay. Brett is not going to allow that to happen this time. And for that, I thank you. Because <laughs> it obviously didn't seem fair in the first season, but they definitely did that to just, like, not pull at our heartstrings, but just, like, fuck with our heads. He's still choosing a couple girls. You up there, you hang, all right? You stay out here, right? What? Are you kidding me? I'm like, I'm like, wait, 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 wait a minute. What the hell is going on? You hang. And you hang, okay? Fuck, you gotta be kidding me. This isn't happening. It's pointing at me. It feels so mysterious. Let's see why. The rest of you, go in the house. Have an awesome time. So these four girls stay outside and the others go in. What's going on? All the girls that go inside go straight to the bar. Who would have thunk? I run straight for the bar and start pouring drinks. Honestly, I get that though. If I were on this type of show, and I had free alcohol provided to me, I would definitely go straight to the bar. <laughs> uh, loosen up a little and get ready to compete. You four are his VIPs. What? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm ecstatic that I have this VIP pass and it makes me feel like, you know what, I got this. I'm so happy that Daisy is in this season. I remember loving her on my first watch through years ago. He clearly chose them purely on looks, so that's a bad sign. I'm here to stay, bitches. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, that doesn't seem fair at all. It was a good twist on what they did last season, but it's a little strange that they get special privileges just because Brett's attracted to them. We walk into this beautiful setup room. There's champagne and present. You know, stuff I'm used to. Each one of you is going to get some alone time with Brett. One on one, oh just to get to know him, where nobody else is going to interfere. Of course, the other girls are mad at the VIPs, and rightfully so. It does seem unfair, but I guess it's 
a quick way to get some confrontations and entertainment. Like, what the hell is going on here? You guys are out of here. You guys are done. That means you leave. This is a special VIP. Oh, Very yeah. important oh. pussy. Girls that got that stayed outside, they got VIP necklaces. That's why they're in the VIP room and got a whole bunch of stuff. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Step up your game, bitches. Oh. Stop it up. Angel Lake is already a standout in this season. Cool, there is my food over there. I'm gonna have to be a stripper right now. She's practically a French Barbie doll. She does this. Now it's time for Brett to take the pictures for the passes. Brett wants to take our picture. And I'm thinking, how sexy is this? I'm gonna make love to the camera. You know, and him, I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna show him a little sex kid. I was like, yeah, I tap that. This part is just as gross as the first season. I love taking pictures of the girls because through the lens, I get to see a lot about their character. Are they sexy? Are they confident? Are they arrogant? Are they shy? You get to see all this. They all got to show off and Brett kisses a bunch of them. We all know I cringe every time he kisses someone. And I know a lot of you do too. Angelique, also apparently known as Frenchie, immediately pulls out her tits. This is not only very aggressive, but Hulu does not censor this. It's a camera, so to me, it's an invitation to show him what I got. So while I was watching, I got to see some bear tits. <laughs> you know, it's like, did Hulu forget to censor it? Or, of course, I gotta censor it for YouTube or I'm gonna get grounded. <laughs> that is fucking hot. Rock my world, come on. I've seen all these girls and they're doing all these positions and I'm like, what the hell am I going to do? I definitely was not going to slip myself out there. Oh. What's going on? Oh yeah, but look at me and do it. There we go. They make Brett and Courtney's interaction seem super awkward. Courtney to me just seemed a little uncomfortable. I definitely think that it is cool if a girl is shy and doesn't want to show everything. We like that. Okay. Awesome shot. I've never seen shorts so tiny. What are they even connected to? Like, what? Then Megan steps up and she attempts to kiss me and I allow this. I know it's against all my morals, but I allowed her to kiss me. You just kissed like every other girl. He's like, Chrissy Joe is so hot. To me is one of the finest looking women I've ever laid eyes on. And then she comes up and wipes his mouth off like a mother does to her child. <laughs> Okay, am I all wiped down? I have a weird germ. We're all clean. I love this. I'd probably do the same thing. For the girls, there will be a lot of pressure here. I think there's going to be a lot of craziness going on. VIPs will now have their one-on-one -on -one time with Brett. VIPs, when they got their uninterrupted time with Brett, I was like, bitches ready for his one-on-one -on -one time and who does he pick who does he want to hang out with first me <laughs> megan is the first vip he talks to i need to wrap my legs around him and throw me on the ground it's torture you know i do a lot of modeling i was just gonna say you have to model or something yeah i have a way huge to... modeling it would be career. a waste if you didn't i have a great career i have great friends i have great family i have great everything and the only thing i'm missing is somebody to really share it with me her shirt is three sizes too small and she's like i was drunk uh, but i think i had a good time <laughs> i think that i have really had a good time megan is great though she's definitely entertaining you right back with your next vip i'll need a minute <laughs> <laughs> i love brent michaels me and him forever <laughs> Destiny is the next VIP. Brett is so hot and I just want to rub my hands all over him. She made him a bandana, which is very clever because Brett's going to remember this. I'm marking my territory. Destiny says she's not a psycho, but she is obsessed and she used to have posters of Brett plastered all over her walls. I'm not a psycho fan, but I'm definitely obsessed with Brett. <laughs> That's a little wild to me. Uh, that would be like me going on a dating show for the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> they edited it to make it seem like all she did was giggle the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Destiny with her sweet cackling laugh. <laughs> her hot lips and heaving breasts more than made up for anything that may be slightly annoying. I knew she was the perfect psycho fan to make sweet love to me. 
or kill me. Daisy is the next VIP. So much kissing already, I cannot handle it. Kissing is really important to me. Luckily, it was on. It was like fireworks, like pfft, 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 pfft. And I was just like, I want more. I'm like, don't stop. Daisy's so cute. I don't know what it is, but I want to be her friend. Felt what I felt inside. I know there's something. There's something there. I am a musician also myself. I'm Maybe a, that's I'm our a artist. Too. Yeah, this is crazy. I feel scared because I'm like, is this really happening? Are we really making an instant connection like this? All it shows them doing is making out. Every single one. Except Aaron. Inna bursts into the VIP section. <laughs> That's right, baby. Check out my man. I knew there was good times going to be had here in the near future with me and Nina. It's VIP time. Go on, get. So Aaron is the final VIP to get to hang out with Brett. Brett is a rock star, and I love rock stars. I think he's just going to love my personality and my charisma, and, like, hopefully we can connect on an artistic level. I really like her hair. She's actually someone who is talking with Brett. And of course, this bores him. I've kind of like been all over the place like my whole entire life. Right. I know it's not silly. No, tell me, there's I nothing silly. I fucking love MySpace, and I'm such a nerd. Like I learned HTML just for MySpace. Right. I just have a feeling with Aaron that somewhere along the line, I kind of, I don't know what happened. I just sort of. Like, that is so ridiculous. I mean, he wants to find love, but then he doesn't want to actually talk with any of the girls. He just wants to make out and, like, find out who's the most physically attractive. <laughs> it's bullshit. He leaves the VIP section, and a lot of girls are immediately all up on him. Uh, you French geese. Mm. Now Southern kid. All right. <laughs> Yuck. The rest of the 16 girls only have one hour to get to know Brett before elimination. So whatever I have to do for that to happen. Okay, make that happen. So mm -hmm. baby. That would be love. Mm -hmm. That would be good. Brett. Yes, go on. Uh, go on. No Tell me. I've never had a moment in my life where you can ever, ever have too many girls sitting on your lap at one time. This is so gross. <laughs> I love Amber's reaction here. All the tongues, like, all at one time. That's, yeah. like, gnarly, dude. The, the stripper half-naked alligator pit throwing themselves at Brad. And then there's the other girls that are really, really reserved and almost shy. And then I think I'm kind of in the middle. She gets the more reserved girls to go over and get Brett's attention. Let's walk over there together. But we do need to put our face in front of him. OK. All right, so let's do it as a team. I think this is pretty cool of her. She's not just trying to get his attention for herself. She wants to encourage everyone else to get his attention as well. How do you climb over 19 other girls to get to the man you want? Come on, Stop we'll do it. Come on. But I'm not scared to take a chance. Now he talks with Catherine, who seems really nice. I'm 45. I just turned 45 you on Friday. You are the beautiful. <laughs> the one big thing that's missing in my life is someone to spend the rest of my life with. But we know on this show that being nice will not get you very far. All right, but we don't have too much time. We have to talk to him now because that's been like five All right, to ten give me minutes. two seconds. You know what I love about Frenchie? She was just so needy of my time. And in some sick way, that kind of turned me on. What? doesn't turn on Brett. He gets pulled away by some girls. Are you guys like gonna go talk to him? Of course. Yeah, I just don't are. want it. I'm not competing with a thong. Oh, hey, oh. Hey, men. Uh, like I said, hey, and gave you my kiss yeah. on the cheek. Doing what I would really do. I love do. You guys. Hi, Hello. Honey. What are you? I'm doing awesome. He probably doesn't remember that happening at all. She did try though, I'll give her that. My father was never there and right. I'm just, I just want someone to love me. No, in a, this is not a good tactic to get a man. Am I wrong? How can Brett possibly get to know these ladies? He's just getting dragged all over the place. All of the tiny 2000s eyebrows. <laughs> Jackie seems nice and normal. Seem like you really want to find a girl. And I do. I think I'm that girl. The thing I loved about Jackie, she just had this kind of just cool, hot Italian thing going on, which I absolutely love. We could have a great fucking one night. What makes us go on beyond that? Sex to me is everything. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, I like her a lot. Outside, Courtney is about ready to fall in the pool. Courtney's been drinking a lot of whiskey. Oh, I don't mind. No, I don't. No, stop it. I don't mind. It's okay. I really want to get to Brett before elimination, but my girlfriend over here is falling apart. Sisters before misters. 
Chrissy Joe finally gets him to go outside and talk with her. But then Brett's immediately like, I gotta use the bathroom. So I finally get this one-on-one -on -one time with him and he just walked away. I'm like, are you kidding me? That friggin' sucks. <laughs> he gets distracted by some pole dancing. So much for Jackie being nice and normal. <laughs> Look at her go. <laughs> the longer did I have to go number one, I could hold it. Oh, that's a long pass, dude. Big John reminds Brett and he goes back to talk with Christy Joe and this other one. You know, there's something about Christy Joe's cold personality that just wants me to find out what she's about. Plus, I want to massively suck her face. Now, here's a big question. What brings you here? What, do you, what are you looking for? What you. Do you Jessica is like, mwah, mwah. Full on kisses him, like, bah. I feel for you, Amber. Like, everything that is going on here so far has just been gross on gross on gross. <laughs> Teen girls, I'm feeling pretty good. I know I've met. Sweetheart. Courtney is out cold. That couch does look comfy though, I have to admit. Time to get ready for elimination. Going into eliminations tonight, I don't think I have anything to worry about because I'm VIP. This is the first time we're seeing and hearing from Sarah. It's ridiculous to come in, go through all this to meet a guy, and the second you have an opportunity, your next thing you know, you're like so drunk that you don't even know what the hell is going on with you. She's trying to help Courtney get ready. Well, you can see how that's going. It's eliminations in a minute. Come on, let's go. Do you know what? I think she's done. <laughs> she's done. Courtney is just gonna stay in bed. She's way too drunk. Elimination time. Five people are gonna be eliminated already. Going into elimination tonight, I'm feeling confident, but just because I'm one of Brett's VIPs doesn't mean that I'm gonna be safe from being eliminated. The feeling I have in my stomach is like, my stomach is just turning and turning and turning. Here comes the elimination. This is the part I absolutely hate. I got 20 beautiful girls and 15 passes. How the hell am I gonna decide who goes home after one night? Megan, would you come down here? You keep your tallness, hotness, and sexy legness in this house and continue to rock my world. You know it. <laughs> Daisy, would you come down here, please? When Brett called me his little sex kitten, I was like... Destiny, would you come down here, please? All in a row. I get a pass, Daisy gets a pass, Destiny gets a pass. So far, that's the VIPs in the order that he met them. But then he skips over Aaron. He makes some more picks. Aubrey, would you come down here, please? Peyton, would you come down here, please? Hey. Roxy, Corey, Jessica, Sarah, Catherine, will you come down here? Christy Joe, would you come down here, please? I got a pass. Thank you. Thank you felt a spiritual connection when you were the first to take your shirt off. <laughs> Angelique, bless her heart, but I mean, come on. Are you serious? I mean, seriously. Last pass. He has to choose one of the six girls remaining. I'm sitting back here, like, holding my ass cheeks together, hoping everything's cool. I would be shocked if I went home tonight. I don't think it's a possibility, and I'm not really worried about it. He chooses Jackie as his last pick. Then I'm like... I thought I had a guaranteed spot. I didn't even think I was going home. Can I tell you one thing before? Oh shit, but wait. I'm so nervous right now. Before I, before you came out here, I, I wanted to go home. <gasps> and listening to you and how genu genuine you are, I don't want to leave. I do want to stay. Well, why even say that? Is she bipolar? Is she schizophrenic? If there's something in your gut that's saying you don't want to be there, then you should probably let another girl have a chance. I don't want to let one of them go, and then tomorrow you say to me, I want to go home because I'm going to feel sick in my stomach if I let one of these beautiful girls go home that I didn't get to spend the time with that I did you. And she decides she's going to go home. This means Brett has to choose a different girl. <laughs> well, we don't need that anymore. Obviously, after that, I've got room for one more. Jackie backpedals herself right out the door. Amber, if you would come down here, please. Yeah. Amber, would you be willing to stay in this house? <gasps> oh my God. And Aw, she's so excited. That's <laughs> so cute. Now because it's okay. I'm still, is that cool? <laughs> All right. She seems genuinely excited and happy that he chose her. I totally dodged a big silver bullet. I have a second chance and I am motivated and I'm going for what I want and that's Brett. Yay, I like her. Would you all come down here, those that are tours about to end here? Because I'd like to say goodbye. I'm completely 
confused and blown away by your decision. Anyways, yeah, Courtney is eliminated too. Everybody, you want to come down? Ah, uh, delicious Brett's brew. Ah, uh, delicious Brett's brew. Don't worry, I got mine right here. Are we ready to rock this house? Woo! It seems like they learned from the first season, so this one is already going much better. Brett, the long-haired rock star, had a very large bandana, and if you ever saw it, you would even say it's bananas. So at the first elimination, Brett eliminates five girls. Four go home, one still here. Let's start it off by saying bye-bye to Courtney. Your tour ends here. Me? I'm going home. I'm a dumb bitch. Poor girl couldn't handle her liquor. I'm gonna call my family. Yeah, I'm not calling my family from here because they have no idea I'm here. They don't know you're here. What'd you say why you were out here for? Well, I just said I'm gonna go to LA with my friends. I actually did it more of as a dare, to be honest. Are you kidding me? Tina schemes a little sneaky sneak plan to get Sarah in trouble. It really pisses me off that Sarah is here on a dare. And knowing this, I want Brad to find out. I feel like words were twisted here. Things were taken out of context. Maybe it'll come back to bite Ina later. Maybe not. I decided to tell Aubrey about the fact that Sarah's here on a dare because Aubrey has a big mouth. I'm gonna have her tell Brett. Sounds like a good game plan. I'm just excited to tell Brett what I found out about Sarah. There's always gonna be that one teacher's pet. Brett's pet? No, yeah, take that back. <laughs> you gonna throw to John? You had a good spiral. Just outside in the yard, tossing a football with Big John. I need to get his attention anyway because I need to tell him about Sarah. Let's talk. You want to talk? I heard from Ina that Sarah was here on a dare. Let me say something good about that. Sometimes what happens to people is they come and the relationships form by accident. I'm not here to hurt anybody. I'm here for you. Gotcha. Definitely got to think this one over. The ladies are summoned. Come on down to the living room, please. They have Frenchie read the note from Brett because, of course, why wouldn't they do that? I need a woman with talent and style. Keep me interested. Only we stay for a while. Today, each of you give me a peek of what you think make you unique. Shake it a little, shake it a lot. Be sure to show me what you got. <laughs> what I think she said is we're doing a talent show. Great. So after we get through that, Whatever that was, the girls start working on their talents. As soon as I figure out that it's a talent show, I know exactly what I'm gonna do tonight. I am gonna do Kung Fu. I, I cook like a chocolate mousse on the chocolate cake fight. I'm wrapping myself up because I'm really good at wrapping presents and stuff. And then I'm just gonna unwrap myself. <laughs> oh my God. Nikki, what's your talent? A poem. Oh, good. That's kind of cheesy, but I'm good at cheesiness. Well, then do what you're good at. As sweet as she is, that sucks. <gasps> Peep show talent show. As we saw, Frenchie baked a cake. What is gonna happen with that? <laughs> You're gonna have 30 seconds inside Brett Michaels' personal Peep show booth to show me your finest, finest talent. At the end of that 30 seconds, this curtain is gonna come down and you are off the stage. However, there's a catch here. If I likes what I sees, I've been given tokens. If I pop in one of these tokens into the machine, Ooh, you get another oh 15 seconds great. to show off your talent. You're up. The ladies that aren't performing get to watch the lady that is performing on a tiny little television. Brett's personal peep show. Bring it on. The first performance is a disaster. This is very rhythmic-ish. Thank you very much. Ooh. The sound effects, like why? Why did they do this? Destiny steps up there and does some absolutely kick-ass kung fu moves in which I really, really love. They kind of actually turned me off. I'm so happy. Brett puts in another token for the curtain to rise again because he wanted to see more of my performance. Okay, after I do watch it a little bit more, the sound effects kind of do make it cooler. 
We have poems and lectures and spoken word. Eh. And then whatever this is. I think someone who gets you has to be able to take care of her man. Stop ironing, stuck stripping. Get naked, you know? I know people think I'm crazy, but ironing does turn me on. Brett, everything turns you on. We know this. <laughs> My empty magic bag uh -huh. and three thongs. Magician Megan. Uh -huh. Red, white, and blue. You put them in. Uh -huh. <laughs> Abracadabra. Keep going. Hey! Oh. <laughs> I -o. Now, Sarah, she does the belly dance without ever showing her belly. I'm gonna tie this in a knot. I'm gonna have to get closer to actually visualize it. Dina's talent of tying a cherry stem in a knot, I could have done that with my toes. I love you. It's my turn to get in the booth. I almost got eliminated last night. Let's do this. Amber's idea actually ends up working out well. Giving away the best present. So, Brad, are you ready for me to open up my package? Uh-huh. Curtain's coming down, and I'm going to make the most of every second. Ah! Now you like my little booty? Yeah. I don't show much of Daisy's because it's too scandalous. I like Daisy a lot. Peyton jams out, and it's actually really good. Peyton grabs that guitar and just pounds on it and sings, and I love this woman. She is just cool. And then we have... I spend all day in the kitchen. Franchi. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. Can't even show you what's happening. Let's just say she makes use of her cake. Oh, here, I'll just let Brett explain. Even better. I'm looking for a woman who I can connect with spiritually, and any woman willing to lick chocolate mousse off of her own breasts, that's a spiritual connection that you can't deny. You brought it home. I'm glad you went last. <sighs> okay, so Brett's gonna choose three winners. Only take three of you on a date with me tomorrow. Peyton, it was a knockout. Do we all agree? Yes. yes. It was great. Yes. Daisy? <laughs> Daisy, you did an absolutely awesome job. You sang great, you came out, you were confident. Christy Joe, here's the deal. It was based strictly, strictly on just sexiness. You nailed it. Possibly in Finland, ironing is a talent. However, because I had to base this on originality and stuff like that, I went with Amber. And then you go to bed early because I'm ready to have a good time tonight, all right? After all of this, Destiny and a few others decide to go to bed early. Good night. But wait, didn't Brett literally just say... I mean, you go to bed early. Uh-oh, about to be some drama. Don't go to bed early. It's in Brett Michaels' book of rock and roll rules. All the girls that are there and didn't go to bed early get to enjoy a little concert from Brett. The VIP girls are passed out while this is going on. Brett's angry, though. Again, he did say, don't go to bed early. You gotta promise me you give the three and or four girls that are VIPs shit tomorrow for fucking going to bed early. Brett told us to come up here because he he was just down there and he was asking where the fuck were y'all. I gotta be honest, I was pretty bummed out that the VIPs didn't come out, you know, so I think I'm gonna have to stir it up a little bit in this house. So there's gonna be an old school dance competition tomorrow and the winners are gonna enjoy some real VIP perks. They're gonna have a dance off tomorrow? What? The next day, Amber crushes it reading the note from Brett. I, I peeped your best. Amber reads the note from Brett so hard. Now it's time for all terrain. Like she, she, she's like, she's pretending she's in an audition for a Broadway show. Oh, Hamlet, 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 Hamlet. Three must go, exit stage left, you're off the show. See you downstairs in one hour. Yay! It's time for the girls to go on an ATV adventure with Brett. I'm worried about writing because I had never done something like that. I don't want to look like an idiot in front of Brett. Right on. Oh my God. I love riding. I love being outdoors. And one thing great about it is when you're done in the hot sun and a lot of vibration, you want to... In the meantime, the girls that went to bed early are going to try to make amends with Brett. Megan, Jessica, and I have decided that we're going to make Brett an amazing card and just tell him how sorry we are that we missed out on spending time with him. Ina and Frenchie decided that they're going to set up the dance competition. Last night, Brett told us to set up a contest. Well, nobody's doing shit about it, so I think you and I should do it. Really, really want to impress Brett. So I grabbed Frenchie and I was like, let's set up the dance floor. And these girls are still working on their friggin' cards. <laughs> Quad riders have some lunch now. I'm getting starving now. Yeah. Yeah.
glorious cheek. Yeah, you sang incredible and it was very sexy and you nailed it with that guitar. It just had such attitude and it just you. Amber isn't a musician like the other three people here, so she doesn't really have a way to join in on the conversation. Bingo. You're you right. know. You're right. Exactly. We're having lunch, and Peyton's talking about her music, and Daisy's talking about her music, and I'm sitting back, and I'm observing, and I'm being a little quiet, and that's not good. I want you to take Amber. I okay. want to talk to her for a little bit, because I feel a bit of a disconnect, and I want to connect. Me and Amber are just going to head up the hill okay. and go hang out for a little bit, all right? Tell right. I me mean, what yeah. you really like to you do. You know what? I love to work out. Yeah. But yeah, work out, okay, and then balance it with... And I love to hang with my friends. I'm with you. And sometimes I like to chill at home. Amber does seem cool and down to earth. <laughs> mm. I was like, mm. good hand. I finally had some alone time with Brett, and we're talking. It's a good vibe. We're totally feeling each other. Well, I'm glad we did this because I needed to. Kissy, kissy, blah. Let's go back to the house. No, it's a waiting game. Where the VIP go to bed early sleeper people are waiting to give Brett his, the card that they made him to apologize. VIP girls have worked very hard on our special card for Brett. And we get all glammed up and want to wait by the door so the first thing he sees when he walks in from your date is us. And Ina and Frenchie are like, you times been around that track, so it's not just gonna happen like that. I realized that VIP girls are sitting in front of the door with some poster dressed up in cute little outfits. You know what? I'm gonna dress up slutty too. So they join them in their wait for Brett right in front of the door. Ina and Angelique decide to come down and like wait for him and they're copying us. And it basically becomes like musical chairs. So we decide we're gonna go and get some chairs and put them right in front of the door so we're the first ones that Brett sees when he opens that door. Oh, me too. I was like, I'm not gonna let that slide. <laughs> <laughs> and then Angelique and Ina put chairs right in front of us. The peeps that were out on the date arrive back. Hi. Wow. We have a surprise for you set up in the living room. Okay. Okay. Ina and I, we wait for you in the living room. Because I'm coming to find you. I made now. you a present. Mm, sorry we I missed you. you. Can't, Can't wait to, to kiss you. you. Pick us tonight, we'll make it room. This is everything awesome. Brett decides he's gonna let Ina and Frenchie be judges for the dance competition because he was impressed that they set up said dance competition. Break this down, wait, wait, we're doing the dance contest? Yes, that's what, what you said, you said you wanted yes. to do yesterday. Really want want it. Yes. Yeah. This is killer. I love it. Brett is so pumped and I'm really excited to be judging all these girls. Oh, we're going old school, all right? This is gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> I've got three VIP passes, right? You can use these for anything, anywhere, with me. Oh, no, fuck no. Oh, go! <laughs> what is it? That right there is the best worm I have ever seen. <laughs> I'm not a loss for words, but I'm also enjoying myself. It's like this weird in between. What? What is it? What's that? Dark. Yeah. Judges have a real hard think about it. Sally sing like Roxy she kick kick. Okay. I liked some boobies. I love her. Who? Oh, between Angelique and her thick French accent and Ina, my Ukrainian love gun. I'm confused. And choose their winners. Go. Your decision. <laughs> Bang. Okay, so first we choose Roxy because we think she did fuck me. Come on. Yes, and you got it. I'm psyched to get this VIP pass because it means that I can interrupt Brett when he's talking to someone that I don't want him to be talking to. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Winner, winner. Brett's your dinner. <laughs> Thank you. That was no, so fun. E. L I M I N A T I O N. I think I spelled that correct. Elimination. With the dance contest, which was killer. But the reason we're all here, right, to find someone for me that I can love and one of you to love me back. Having said that, I just want to clear the air here with everybody. Something has definitely been on my mind. Sarah. Brett calls out Sarah for what happened earlier in the episode. I have made it pretty apparent and open that you are here on a dare, yes or no? No, it was nothing but a lack of a better word. 
to be honest. It's more of that I doubted myself. Hold on a second. You never said that you were here on a dare? I didn't say it that way. You, you, it was totally taken out of context. And just says bye-bye. This is not the place or time your tour ends here. It didn't matter what anyone else had to say. But the one thing I did need to hear Sarah say was that I am here for you. And she didn't say it. Dang, harsh. <laughs> and Ina really did twist her words, and I thought so. I freaking knew it. I knew it. But whatever, that's taken care of, I guess. He makes his picks for who is staying. Would you continue to stay here in this house and rock my world? Yes. Peyton, would you please come down here? Would you come down here, please? Destiny, would you come down here, please? Megan, will you come down here and salute America with the red, <laughs> white, and blue you had on the other day? Mm -hmm. Daisy, would you come down here, please? Oxy, will you please come down here? <laughs> Jessica, would you please come down? Joe, would you come down here, please? Will you stay here in this house and continue to rock my world? No. You leaving? No. <laughs> Good one, Chrissy Joe. Get him. <laughs> Catherine, would you come down here, please? Aubrey, would you please come down here? Uh-oh, scabio. Angelique, would you come down here, please? Hold the fuck up! Are you serious? What the what? Continue to stay in this house, put on some great dance shows, <laughs> and rock my world. Yes. What? I see a tongue darting out of a mouth. It's coming at me. It's large and fighting to get into my mouth like a serpent. What? <laughs> I feel like I didn't get that much time with him. And I honestly feel that if Brett would have got to know me, I would still be here and I wouldn't be going home. Would you come down here, please? <laughs> yep. Don't think we've ever heard Corey's name before. I don't think I've even seen her. I was the best girl in that house. If he can't see it, then I don't want him. Fine with me. What were their names? It's so all of us in the house <laughs> for at least another day. Here we go. Cheers. I just need a second to make a connection with Brett. But I have a VIP pass, which I intend to use. Here comes our good friend, Big John, with a note from Brett. Yes. Good morning, my sexy sirens. I know you're all sweet and classy, but I need a girl that's tough and sassy. I really hope it's nothing to do with athleticness, because I don't have any. <laughs> there's this big building, and when I walk in, there's a roller derby rink. Scary. Oh my god. How are you doing today? We can assume they're having a stroller derby. Here's the deal. One thing I am good at in life is I'm a good dad. Are you sure about that? And I'm looking for a girl who's got a mother bear instinct. So what I've done is I've designed a challenge. Each team has just one responsibility. And that is to protect. <laughs> oh my gosh, baby Brett. How cute was that? With the bandana and the glasses and the stroller. It was hilarious. Please welcome the one and only L.A. Derby Dolls with America's oh. little sweetheart, Lacey Connor. Boo! You stink! What's up, stink? It's a Christmas miracle. Lacey is back. Just when we thought we were done with her. Don't be scared. I won't hurt you too bad as I'm kicking oh. your ass. If there's anything I can do in these skates, I hope I could skate over Lacey's face. Baby Brett is designed to measure trauma and damage. The team that has the least amount of damage to little baby Brett gets to go on a date or dates with me. They split up into teams. Over here in the blue team, Aubrey, Angelique, Christy Joe and Ina. I used to um, speed skate, so I'm hoping that I will get the solo day. We shall see. The second team is the red team, which is going to be Jessica, Roxy, Peyton, and Anne. I don't know how I'm going to do about this. And the third team is the pink team, Daisy, Megan, Destiny, Catherine. I like my team. Hopefully they can roller skate. Are we ready to start the stroller derby challenge? <laughs> All right. Let's do it. They put on their tiny little outfits and strategize. You guys all have like skating experience. I rollerblade yeah. like every day. You, can you skate well? I'm like mad skater. Oof. Ouch. Eee. Zoom. Zoom. In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. Little baby Brett will be heaved out of the cart and taken over to the good Dr. Franklin. There's no way this doctor is writing anything important. He's like... Hi, ladies. I'm not a real doctor. Shoot. I'm editing this right now, and I just realized that it says Doctor of Doll Traumology. <laughs> and that he's not an actual doctor, so I was correct about that. Somehow missed the subtitle. We'll record all the results and let you know who won, all right? Pink team, you start. Here we go. 
<laughs> Lacey is crazy, and these LA Derby dolls look like they want to kill us. It's scary. I'm hoping that these girls are willing to take a beating for their man. On your marks, get set, save baby Brett. crash holy shit this is brutal Lacey I didn't know you could punch the baby Lacey's crazy bitch you can run but you can't hide they're seriously making these girls work for it this year I love it Lacey pulverized our baby she punched that baby in the head so many times I was ready to punch her in the head <laughs> The next team is up. No matter what happened, I had to hold on to the baby and protect baby Brett. She kissed the baby. Peyton is determined to get that baby around the track, and she was literally willing to take a beating. It just made me want to breed. <laughs> okay, Brett, that was pretty funny. She took a part of the baby with it. Let's see how well or not well the last team does. What's that? I think we're gonna win. I'm like, okay, I got this. And then I see this chick, the big one. I'm like, no. Oh. Christy Joe gets laid out flat on her back. <laughs> Job. How about a round of applause for Christy Joe? Although she's suffering a major concussion right now, please welcome the one and only Dr. Franklin for his results. Here comes Doc Crock of Shit. I don't know. He's gonna let the ladies know how busted up baby Brett got. Pink team. We have cerebral hemorrhage on your baby, massive shaking trauma, lacerated organs, and a probable spinal contusion. I would not expect it to survive. Red team. Mild head trauma, moderate torso trauma, possible bruising of organs, obvious loss of limb. I would expect this baby to survive, but it would never lead a normal life. Blue team. Mild head trauma, mild bruising, moderate shaking trauma. I would expect after a few years of physical and mental therapy, the child would go on to lead a normal life. Blue team has sustained the least amount of damage. <laughs> And since Chrissy Jo sacrificed her body for the baby, she's the MVP. I want to take Frenchie, Aubrey, and Ina on an awesome date tonight. I got something killer planned that's not painful. <laughs> and then tomorrow, I want to take Christy Jo, your MVP, on a very personal private date. I deserve this date. Yes, I deserved it. She'll be getting a private date. <laughs> it's time for Ina, Angelique, and Aubrey to go on their date. <laughs> what is Aubrey wearing? Yes. I can't tell if it's really hot or really super duper not. <laughs> there is no in between. Good to see you, buddy. Welcome, ladies. I'm Ivan Kane. Welcome to Ivan Kane's 40 News. Uh, we've closed down the place for you. Tonight's all about you. Really? I've got a great table all set for you. Come on in, bro. They're at a dancing club, wink, wink. I'm so excited because I see a big catwalk and it's for left. This will be cool. We'll have good tunes playing. We'll have dancing go going on. At least they're being creative this season. They're not just simply going out to eat for all the dates. They're adding a little spice. We're going to have one of the 40 News girls dance for you three ladies, and then we're going to have you girls kind of show us what you can do as a 40 News dancer up on stage. Our burlesque dancer was sexy, and I mean sexy. I'm completely naked, you know? We're going to do this. No, no. Art of the Listen, the she's a good... It's my turn to get on stage and milk it to the bone. My Ukrainian love tank. She sucks as a burlesque dancer, but she is sexy. Spicy meatball. <laughs> Yo, Brett has such a way with words. Chuck. I'm going to rock this. I'm going to look the part. I'm all about it. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. She was good. I mean, real good. I think I have a big advantage on this date. I want to go on the stage, you know? 
on Shoot to Break How I Dance once at one time more. Angelique. Oh! I think Angelique looks like a clown. Oh! Oh! Come on, round of applause. We gotta have a little respect. Good job, babe. The club is actually pissed. We have some rules at 40 dues. No nudity here whatsoever. Of course I'm gonna have to get naked. Look at me, I'm so fucking hot. She almost got the 40 dues shut down. Game over. Let's go check on the ladies back at the house. Michael, I didn't have control of the stroller. How was I supposed to have maternal instincts? Christy Joe is talking trash about me. This pisses off Jessica and Megan, so they're wanting to go find Christy Joe to set the record straight. There's some drama a brewing. Lady, you don't need to open the door. <laughs> what the fuck, you guys? So basically, she was telling me that you guys were making me take the fall for our loss. <laughs> no fucking way. Yes. Yeah. We were glad to have you on our team, so... No, what she was trying fuck? to turn her against, against us. you guys. Ugh. So we do not trust her anymore. But hey, we don't have time for that. It's time for Christy Joe's date. Yesterday's challenge, you kicked ass skating. Today, we'll spend time on a date you're creating. To the rest of my girls, I must let you know, at tonight's elimination, two more will go. So I'm preparing for my date, and I just really wanted Brett to get to know the real me. So I wanted to do a simple little barbecue, have some beers, hang out, just get to know each other. But the girls who receive special VIP passes are going to try to mess it up for her. I'm going to like give them a little bit of time. Yeah. And I'm going to use my pass, and then I think you should write after me. I don't think that I need to interrupt her date to prove that I'm better for him. He'll see that on my time. It sucks that they decided to stay at the house for their date because of course people are just gonna ruin it. But before that can happen, Chrissy Joe is just gonna throw out some interesting information about herself. I'm eager to spend time with Brett because I want him to hear from me, the type of person I am, not from them. I want him to see it for himself. What would you like me to set? Right here. <laughs> I like this girl a lot, but I wanna see what she's gonna bring from her world and see how well this date will go. Cheers, thank you for an awesome meal. There's a chance of it going really great, which is what I live for is passion. <laughs> no, or really shitty. Here's me. And here comes Destiny to put a stop to their date. It's like, it's hard. I mean, I've always put myself What a like, clever I'm move. You have two marriages. Yeah, I'm, I'm still going through my annulment right now. Hi oh. I'm still legally married. Legally, legally married. married. Legally, legally married. married. Christy Joe is still legally married. This may pose a little problem in our relationship. Hi, Brett. I'd like Hello. to cash in my coupon right now. Are you sure you want to do it right now? At this exact moment? Yes, but I would like her to leave. At first, I'm hoping there's going to be some kind of a naked cat fight take place right by the pool while I continue to eat. But instead, Destiny looks over Christy Joe and says, get out. Kind of turn me on. Thanks, Brett. If someone can be that low to come out on a person's solo date, I'm done with her. Then Destiny goes back and taps in Daisy so she can do the same. Oh, I never cheated on you and I just knew in my heart. I'm not, here, here's number two. What do you mean? I wanted to use my pass. I gave you the pass and I'll honor it, but I just want to make sure that it's not just a strategy to make her mad. Yeah. I think now is a long time. Okay. Luckily for Daisy, she decided not to be petty. You know what, then? I just wanted to get to know him better. I wanted to maybe sit down and eat the wonderful or crappy dinner that Christy Joe cooked for him. But now I'm fearing that he's mad that I interrupted his date with Christy Joe. And that's the last thing that I want. And then she ends up getting an even more intimate conversation with Brett than even Christy Joe did. I seriously felt kind of like an asshole about the whole thing about coming and interrupting You did. Me. I like that you came up. Looking at him, sometimes I just forget everything and I just want to just stare in those eyes. I'm going to throw up. I think I'm going to throw up. Don't throw up. up. Nice I don't. I don't. I'm going to throw it up. Tonight, I've got eliminations. I've got some serious thinking to do. It's elimination time. I had a date today with Brett, and there's a lot of trauma that went on, and I don't know where his head's at. I feel great about the elimination tonight because I got completely naked last night for Brett. I feel really connected to him. Misty Joe is full of crap. I hope that Brett can see through her. I'm sure he can. I'm here to hopefully find someone, and as strange as this house may be, it's also great because I get to see everyone's true colors pretty quickly. She made a super effort to get to know me and truly used her VIP pass properly. Daisy. Destiny. Oh, I actually thought he was gonna say Daisy. Would you come down here, please? Would you stay here in this house and rock my world? For sure, Brett. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. This next girl made a true effort to walk out and talk to me and was also very classy and cool when I told her that this was not the right time or the right place to have this conversation. So Daisy, would you come down here, please? I realized that I probably should have been more aggressive and used my VIP pass. A few more choices are made. Ina, Aubrey, would you come down here, please? Aiden, would you come down here, please? Catherine, would you come down here, please? Amber, would you please come down here? Megan, would you come down here, please? Jessica, if you'd come down here, please. And we get down to the last pass. He hasn't said my name yet, and I'm starting to freak out. It's between Roxy, Angelique, and Christy Joe. I would love it if Christy Joe went home. Last pass. I have a very physical attraction to her. Still got to think you over a little bit. Christy Joe, would you come down here, please? No. No, no, no. Wow, he lets Christy Joe stay. I'm kind of surprised by that, but I guess at the same time, I'm not. We're saying bye to Roxy. I gave you the VIP pass, the effort to come to meet me. The other girls used him up like five times, even to the point where I'm like, you can't use him, and you didn't use it. I think you're beautiful, all right? I mean that, but the Torian's here, okay? And Angelique. You are a rock star. Seriously, you're fun, and you're exciting, and you got a smoking hot body. I've been down this road with someone who I liked a lot just not too long ago. I know. So the Torrens here. Yes. All right. Thank you. I thought he would have kept Angelique a lot longer, but I am totally wrong. Thanks for the entertainment, lady. I still feel like I have to prove stuff to Brett, but I think if we can move past it, it could be really great. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Let's rock. Right. The tension is very high in the house. None of us like Christy Joe, and we all want that bitch out of here. Now it's ten to ten girls. You know I'm awesome. Brett Michaels, I'm awesome. It's me. Brett, more like Chet. <laughs> Am I right? To those who have left us tonight, I feel sorry. They're wonderful people. But for us, let's get down to making bacon. We're off to a great start. Everybody is being friendly and hanging out, but I don't want friends. I want Brett. And I'm ready to step up and let him know. What are you doing, freak? <laughs> You're staring at me like you might like me or kill me. <laughs> Brett says this to Aubrey in a trying to be cute voice, but then this happens. All right, I'm going to bed. Before I do anything else, it's stupider. It's stupider. I'm going to bed. I was standing right next to him, and he walks right around me, gives Daisy a kiss goodnight, gives Destiny a kiss goodnight, and all these other girls. I felt like I was invisible. Save your tears, honey. You never had a chance. Keep this part in mind because Aubrey obsesses so hard about it. But anyways, Daisy makes her way into Brett's room. I'm really feeling Brett. Like, just, ugh, I just can't help it. Like, God, I want to hang out more. Daisy asked me, can she walk me to my room? She looks absolutely stunningly hot. I'm only human, damn it. And I tell her straight up, absolutely, Daisy. She better get her uh, little butt up here when she's done walking oh, you. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. No one has had a long time with him in his room. Here's all they show us, but we all know what they're gonna do. Double up. Aubrey and Christy Joe, the little BFFs, are gonna get in the hot tub to have a little chat. Daisy's in Brett's room, and I'm really feeling like Brett is just not interested in me. See what I said? Aubrey is still wondering why Brett didn't kiss her. What's bothering me is the neglect that I'm feeling that I'm not getting what it is that I deserve. I don't think it was intentional. He said something cute to her and then he just has to kiss like 30 other girls. So <laughs> probably got distracted very quickly. He's sleeping with Daisy right now because that's exactly what he's doing. And if you try to kid yourself or fool yourself, I'm sorry to break the news. All I know is Daisy's in his room right now and they've been in there for hours and it is just, a total mind fuck. They're also mad that Daisy is in Brett's room. I'm really getting jealous feelings, which is weird, because then it tells me I really am interested in him. I want to fall in love, and I'm ready to fall in love, and I know you are too. Part of me feels bad for Aubrey, but then part of me is also just like, get over it. I don't know if this is the place to fall head over heels in love, but um, 
more power to you. <laughs> so I'm in bed and then I notice that somebody is not in their bed. <laughs> So yeah, Daisy stayed the night. She walks back literally wearing his sweatpants, tank top, and bandana. Dirty ass hoe. Me and Brett were learning things about each other. They were just simply learning things about each other. Gosh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Here's our note from Brett. My favorite toys are one of a kind, but the rockin' style that's hard to find. The key to my heart is custom love. Today we'll see who's a cut above. Get a note from Brett, and right away, we kinda had a feeling that it has something to do with either cars or motorcycles. Ina's pumped. And I'm pumped. Yeah, that's what I just said. So they're on their way to the challenge. I'm whispering to Catherine about Daisy sleeping with Brett. Did you sleep with Brett? Aubrey calls out Daisy in front of everyone. So, Daisy, did you sleep with Brett? You were in there without cameras alone in the middle of his bed. I'm sorry. Aubrey is getting a bit of an attitude. Goddamn, lady. Dude, okay, first of all, there's nothing wrong with trying to hang out with someone. I mean, is that a possibility? Is that, like, I mean, I don't go in someone's I'm room. I'm not saying then, it's not a possibility, like, but I, why are you being so I defensive? Can, because you're fucking being a bitch about it. That's why. You didn't do it? You didn't do it. Done. Okay, then shut the French up about it. Who are you calling a cootie queen, you lint liquor? They arrive at a motorcycle shop. Oh, hello? Come, come. We go into this building and all of a sudden, I see the bikes. My heart starts pounding, I start drooling. Over here drooling. <laughs> this is my thing. We're gonna be building some awesome, awesome custom bikes. Okay, hold on. Oh, they just gotta build a motorcycle. Huh? Last season we had challenges like, who can find the guitar pick in the dumpster faster? And this year they're like, you're gonna build a friggin' motorcycle and you're gonna do it fast, okay? Ready, go. <laughs> I've labeled all the parts for you. Your tools are out there. I'm not very familiar with a lot of tools. But I bet you've dated a lot of tools. Want some ice for that burn? Uh -huh. This is definitely a challenge for me. They're split into two teams, and each team will have a lead mechanic. The lead mechanic of the winning team gets to go on a solo date, which is going to be on the bike and incredible, okay? And then the other girls will get to go on a group date, which is always a lot of fun. And the losing team's lead mechanic? You get to clean, with a toothbrush, my custom bike. I don't know anything about motorcycles other than guys who ride motorcycles are hot. Megan has a typical Megan strategy. My best strategy for this challenge is to do whatever I have to do to look hot in my mechanic shirt. I may not know how to build a bike, but I know how to look hot riding one. <laughs> Brett's gonna take off for a ride. When I say go, you guys gotta start building. You ready? Yes. Ready. And go. Woo! Brake caliber. Brake caliber over rotor as well as. Doesn't it have to go through Wait. here first? Oh, sure, that's where that goes? No. Instant chaos. There's no way in hell I'm gonna let the other team win. Oh, I'm completely stressed. I became almost frantic and frenzied, just thinking, oh my God, you know, we gotta win this challenge. We gotta win this challenge. I want this date so bad, I don't know what to do. Peyton is so Southern, I can't understand her sometimes. <laughs> Pull it out and start again. Okay. It's going in, yeah, dude. Okay, cool. Ooh, yeah! Uh, according to this guy, they're pretty much neck and neck. Can you tell me where the air cleaner is? It's over there by the sign that says air cleaner. Okay, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like an idiot. There you go. Good, good, good. Good. Okay. Push this in. No, no, push it out. Push it out. Stop. Push it out. Okay. Watching this is stressing me out. Go, 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 go. <laughs> the black team won, and poor Peyton is sad. My heart sank. The solo date with Brett was that close. If you ask me, Peyton is the most realistic choice for Brett. Give me the down low on the girls. How'd they do? At the last hurdle, our winners were the black team. Awesome. The only one who looked maybe a little bit lost was Destiny here and there. You know, she had a bit of trouble keeping up. I don't know. <laughs> Russell completely just threw me under the bus and told me I was a loser and that I sucked. Okay, Destiny, chill. He didn't even say any of that. Since Destiny may have helped slow the team down a little bit, you're going to put a bikini on 
And the two of you are gonna help clean my pipes together. Someone would explain to me what a fucking Phillips was or something. Maybe I could have figured it out. So you're dumb. So Destiny and Peyton are going to scrub the motorcycle with a toothbrush because they suck. I'm so psyched that I won this date. I'm really hoping that Brett and I can make a connection. Ina, come up here. I've got something very awesome for you. Let's get out of here. Come on. Brett says gross things as usual. Her body, my body, together, bike, vibration. <laughs> we both have oil face. You got grease in your hands. <laughs> oh, kiss, please. Then they have some grub. Great, have a good time. Yes. Back at the house, Peyton and Destiny are scrubbing the bike. We are going to make the best of our punishment. I'll clean his pipes anytime. And Aubrey is still going on about Brett not freaking kissing her. I deserve to be with someone who wants to be with me. I have a problem with Brett walking around me like I'm not existent. Amber makes a point similar to what I was saying. I don't think he did it on purpose. I don't either. I don't either. Aubrey tends to overreact to things and overanalyze things, and I think maybe she has a slight confidence problem. I need to let Brett know that I'm feeling totally insignificant and that the connection maybe isn't there with him. Her complaining about that is getting annoying, not gonna lie. Am I being mean? I, I don't know, but her attitude is irking me. I could see us ending up together. I do too. The date was awesome because we finally got alone time and I got to talk to him and just, we had a great time. Brett and Ina head home from their date to find his toothbrushed motorcycle inside with uh, Peyton and Destiny in their tiny little clothes. Hot date with Ina, come back to two hot beautiful girls on your bike, that doesn't suck. Oh no, here comes angry Aubrey. As soon as Brett comes home, I'm flying down the stairs to go talk to him, it's my time. I'm gonna make this about me, cause it is about me. Would you like to go talk? Okay, Aubrey, 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 do you really need to pick this exact moment when there is nakedness and motorcycles to take me away? Seriously. Aubrey goes on about how Brett didn't kiss her. I'm a very, very, very observant person. You were saying goodnight. You walked right around me and gave Daisy a kiss, then Destiny a kiss. But yeah, but I was standing I'm... right there. She won't let him talk at all. And what he says here is spot on. Aubrey starts going at me as if we'd been in a nagging, naggingly long relationship. And I'm thinking, man, we haven't even been together yet. Let's say you studied my subconscious. What do you think it's saying? I think that you think that I'm really honest. And I think, and I you think, think you're honest. And, and I think friend. that you think that I'm funny. Right. But I don't think they subconsciously. Also... Oh my gosh, she basically just shushed him. You're making yourself look bad. <laughs> I don't think subconsciously that you see me as a potential partner she knows what he thinks subconsciously uh i can see the future right now i'm sitting on the fence with aubrey because i actually do like her a lot but she may be just a little needy that was good right mm -hmm. yeah because you told him like your true honest feelings these two are just so unsure and maybe losing their confidence god i still have all this shit back home i still have so much to take care of you have two marriages i'm still legally married he deserves better and like you know what i mean like if i can't fucking give it all i can't now chrissy joe is like i'm gonna leave too all of this is just too much for me and i have such strong feelings for him and i know that i will never be able to move forward with him unless i deal with my past first she gets all the ladies together to ask for some advice oh shit! just last episode didn't she say she doesn't need any friends here and now she wants their opinions. I have just been through two very horrible marriages, and now I'm in a situation with Brett, and I feel like, fuck, I'm in a rebound again. Christy Joe is basically saying that she's an emotional mess, wreck, baggage, all kinds of husbands and kids and trailers, whatever. Megan. <laughs> or do you leave? Christy Joe is a little overboard. I'm thinking, Hello, they've only known each other for, what, five days? Amber, preach. You're all upset right now, so you should go fucking talk to him. Yeah, because like, if you know it what was me, me and I was feeling this way, I would be, I wouldn't be talking you're to not anybody but him. I wouldn't go, go. Nobody's stopping you. I don't see anybody stopping you. Get the fuck out. So now Christy is going to go talk to Brett. It's such shitty timing. 
this sad ass music. Come on, get out of here. Why is it such shitty timing for you? I'm just I'm because asking it's, you this. Because it's not done yet. All You're my not. affairs aren't in fucking order yet. You know what I mean? But the thing is with Christy Joe is I want to be with her. I like her a lot. And especially she is a beautiful woman to look at. But again, you can't make someone love you if they don't. I don't know what to do at this point. Should I stay or should I go now? Big John gives another note for the girls who get to go on the group date. Come as you are, captured forever today, you're the star. After hearing the note today, I'm totally confused. I have no idea what's going on, as usual. I can put my whole fist in my mouth. Wanna see? They're gonna have a pinup photo shoot. I, love I take Aubrey over and give her a very Jungles King Kong-esque kind of 50s pinup thing, and she just nails it. Am I having too much fun here? Amber, to me, has really come around. This girl is starting to pop out for me. Yeah, that's really hot. They all have fun, uh, especially Brett. Ow. And then Daisy. Hi-yo. I was watching this with my fiance, and at this part, um, I said it looked like he was walking over to the table with his two mommies. <laughs> yeah. What a great photo shoot. Something I actually love to do. So much fun. You know? yeah. So much fun. I've always wanted to do Plus this. Plus it was so. like a release of all the stress. Mm -hmm. and God, God, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then Aubrey becomes an instant Debbie Downer. It seems like so many people in this situation right, huh? get hurt. You're right and you're wrong. Let me tell you why you're wrong. What happens is some of the people that are here don't know what they're looking for and some came here for absolutely the wrong reason. I talking to um, what's her face last night in the room. What's your face? Are you talking about Christy Joe? Yeah. Oh no. Brad refers to Christy Joe as what's her face. Ouch. He was just saying this whole long story and I just looked at her and said whatever. He says Christy Joe's here for the wrong reasons and he's just ripping on her in front of me. This is wrong. I need to go up and tell Christy Joe. Of course this offends Aubrey because she like loves Christy Joe more than she loves Brett, so. <laughs> Aubrey comes upstairs and basically tells me that Brett's talking shit about me on their date. That makes See, me so I wasn't there. I wasn't angry. in the room. You're gonna sit back there and talk shit on me after I'm telling, I'm being honest with you? Oh, I just want to fucking throw. I'm so pissed. Right? I cannot believe you fucking said that about me. She's gonna self destruct, y'all. <sighs> she goes to confront Brett. I am just fuming. I just want to get the hell out of this house. But I realize that if I don't talk to Brett, I'm gonna regret it. Brett? Uh, yeah. Just wanted to see you for a minute. Christy Joe. What's that going on? You're gonna say, what's that going on at a time like this? Are you kidding me, Brett? I'd like to know how you really feel about me. As far as what? My position, being here, everything. Christy Joe comes and knocks on the door before elimination, and she's really pissed off. She knows I think she's hot, but here's the deal. If she wants to go, I'm gonna let her go. So they talk it out, and Brett's like, maybe I'm just not the dude for you. And Christy Joe's like, so after that conversation, I wanna, I really wanna be with him. Who's to say he's not the right person for me? That brings us to the time we all know and love. Elimination time. There's a chance that I could be going home tonight, but I wanna stay for Brett if Brett wants me. I just want to make sure that Brett wants me too. I'm just confused and scared and I really don't know what to feel right now. <laughs> Aubrey and Chrissy Joe basically took over the entire episode with their neediness. That's like all I remember. What's the going on? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. First of all, I just want to say this to everyone here tonight. It has been pretty much a emotional roller coaster for me and I'm sure for all of you. And I can guarantee you one thing, this is going to get worse. First pass, please. There you go. I think that this girl, instead of just talking to talk, we walked the walk, which was good. Took us to a great level, I feel. Daisy is his first pick. No surprise there. I mean, they banged last night, so I would hope he picks her first. I don't think that anybody at this point can beat the chemistry that I have with Brett. I feel it, he feels it, and... I love it. He makes a couple more choices that actually make sense. Good job, Brett. If Brett keeps me tonight, then I'll know that it's because he has genuine feelings for me and I'm really hoping that he's gonna give me a pass. A couple more ladies get chosen to stay. Catherine. Ooh, I got you, I got you. Jessica, would you come down here, please? <laughs> Destiny, would you come down here, please? 
now it's down to Megan, Chrissy Joe, and Aubrey. How the hell am I standing up here with Aubrey and Chrissy Joe and no pass? Megan, would you come down here, please? I don't know what he's talking about, but if he needs any stuff on my game, I will. So it's down to the two BFFs. I got one pass. Christy Joe's my best friend in the house. And I, at that moment, looked over at Christy Joe and my heart just fell out of my body. And I think that Christy Joe might be going home. Christy Joe is completely breaking down and Aubrey feels bad for her. I know if I don't get a pass, I'm gonna be completely devastated. This next girl, unfortunately, told me um, they're not feeling well. What's a going on? I realize that Brett's about to give me the pass. Christy Joe's my best friend and I, I just can't watch someone I care about hurt like that. Brett's about to make his decision when Aubrey interrupts with this. I go on my own. Will you give Christy Joe more chance? What's a going on? <laughs> Holy. Holy shit. Aubrey thinks that she makes the ultimate sacrifice and literally she was the one that was going to be going home anyways. <laughs> I was a little shocked by Aubrey's move, but she was the one who was actually going home. I think that sacrificing my position is going to give her a chance to really stand up and, and not be foolish anymore. And I'm walking away with some wonderful friends and just believing that if, if Brett and I are supposed to have a chance together, we will later. We're in the same city. Aubrey literally thought she could read Brett's mind and she was wrong every single time. So Aubrey decides to sacrifice her own self for Christy Joe. Surprise! <laughs> the whole time she was going home. I was embarrassed to even watch. I'm right there with you, Megan. <laughs> he actually wanted me here. And they make out all nasty-like. And I agree with what Destiny says here. She's playing some major head games with all of us in this house, and I don't fucking like it. Brett's brew time. Everyone in this house, can we continue to party on? Yes. All right. I don't feel like walking all the way across my apartment to get my Brett's brew, so I just like pretend there's one here. Psh. Let's begin. They start off the episode by immediately receiving a note. Welcome to another fun filled day. <laughs> oh, I hate that laugh. <laughs> Is Big John wearing eyeliner? I guess he's emo now. Some of you are sweet and some of you are flirty. But what I really want is a girl who can get dirty. So grab your gear, get ready to play tough because today is going to be rough. It's time for the second annual Brett's Mud Bowl, which means everyone gets in tiny clothes to play football in the mud. Everyone pumped up today for Brett's Mud Bowl too? Yeah. Woo! Sweethearts, fallen angels. The team that wins gets to go on a date. <laughs> oh my gosh, Big John's matching referee bandana. That's the best thing ever. The MVP of that team gets to go on a solo date, which is gonna happen tonight, and it is gonna be awesome. <laughs> They're split into two teams of four, and Brett will be the all-time quarterback. The game begins, and they're off to a muddy start. Catherine, you're going to be captain of the Sweethearts, and Destiny, Woo! you will be captain of the Fallen Angels, all right? Nina, Christy Joe, and Daisy. We are the Fallen Angels. Woo! My team is Jessica, Peyton, Amber, and myself. Catherine wants to win this one because she needs a date with Brett. She hasn't gotten much alone time with him. Along with Jessica, I'm the only one that hasn't had a date with him. People on my team need to want it and be as hungry for this win as I am. Oh, but this isn't just any normal football game in the mud. I am a god. Give me rain. <laughs> Big John, let there be snow. Let there be wind. I guess they turn a big fan on. All this crap. I better win a freaking date. Call me the safety patrol, but all I see is how bad people are gonna get hurt. <laughs> Brett picks some team captains and they pick their teams. Ina! Love you, baby. Catherine? Peyton. Oh, Christy Joe! Woo! Amber. Oh boy. Daisy! Come here, baby! Destiny, 
Destiny picks Daisy and she's like four feet tall. There will be one extra person. So the person that isn't picked just gets to sit out and watch. The one you do not pick gets no chance of a date. It comes down to me and Megan and I'm thinking, please pick me, I'll clean your room, I'll do whatever. I'm only asking for a shot, I need this damn date. Of course they choose Megan to sit out. Come on, yeah, baby. And she is excited. I am bummed that I don't get a chance to win a date with him. But it's a beautiful day. I don't want to spend it in the mud and rain. I want to go tan. Let's play Mud Bowl 2. Go! 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 I literally can't help but thinking it looks like they're playing in chili. <laughs> it looks like chili. This game is underway and it is insane. I had no fear. Brett's going to be our quarterback and I hope I impress him with my receiver skills. Ooh. Amber! Go get him! <laughs> Touchdown, sweetheart! I do not feel sexy. Yeah, getting chilly all over yourself will do that. Ina keeps doing silly things. Ina! Go, go, go! Go, Ina! Run in, run! Illegal forward pass. Ina, you can't do that! Ah, uh, Ina, my Ukrainian love bus. First she was the Ukrainian love tank, and now he's calling her his Ukrainian love bus. <laughs> Brett. Amber gets the ball, and she really goes for it. Brett gives me the ball. I take off running down the field. I'm on a mission to get a touchdown. <laughs> Daisy absolutely plows through her. <laughs> She's the only one that's standing in her way. The other girls, like, they don't even know what a football is. They're like, what? They just keep throwing the ball around. They have no idea what they're doing. Hey, Could you imagine driving past this? It looks like they're just in the middle of a normal park. Halftime, ladies. Halftime, come on. Time for the halftime show. Never mind, no halftime show. <laughs> Time for the second half. Woo! Sweethearts 2, Fallen Angels with nothing. Fallen Angels better step it up if they want some dates. They just keep on playing around in the chili. <laughs> Good one. Ooh, my goodness gracious. Touchdown to the one angel. She's the only one that's standing in her way. We need to stop Amber. Jessica drops the ball and is just like, oops. Oh no, let me get that. Here comes Daisy who just speedy Gonzalez's her way in <laughs> and gets a fumble. Oh no, it's a fumble! Then she makes this honestly impressive catch. Daisy! To win this game. If I get hurt, I don't care because I know Brett will attend to my wounds later. Daisy releases the beast within and just goes nuts. Whoa! <laughs> Daisy, you're a fucking monster! I don't care what it takes, I don't care who's in my way, we're gonna tie this game up. A lot of the ladies make a strong effort. Run! <laughs> Set! Hey, go! Oh, 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 baby! Oh. It was like Amber and Daisy were just going locking horns head to head. I felt a sweet competition going on. Brett lobs the ball. And amazingly, Ina catches it and gets a touchdown. So they go into sudden death or whatever. We're going into overtime. We want to find out who really wants this date. My back hurts. My knees are torn up. This is really tough. I, I can't see. I'm freezing. But you know what? I'm not giving up. I'm not going to give up. I want to win this date and I will. Amber's literally giving her skin to the chili for this one. <laughs> her skin is falling off. <laughs> this one's for all the marbles. Oh, go, go! Oh! Oh! Uh-oh, and Amber fumbles the ball. Crawling through that chili. Daisy gets the ball and zooms down for a touchdown. Get out of my way, skanks! Daisy's coming through! They win, and Ina picks up Daisy like a little baby. That was the sweetest moment ever. I was like, I just scored a touchdown, and we win it. Amber got forked up. So game's over. We lost. 
and now I'm starting to feel the pain. She sacrificed a lot of her skin to the chili gods. The winning team gets a big dumb trophy. For our MVP, please welcome Daisy. I wanted to win. I felt really awesome that I was the MVP, so. These girls rock each other's world. So Daisy and Brett get to go on a date. Hello, beautiful girl. Going into the date, I'm a little nervous because this is like first real night out in town with Brett. I would be lying to say that I wasn't extremely excited to have a little one-on-one -on -one time with Daisy, especially on the date we're about to go on. Brett just wants to hang out with her and talk. Psych, he wants to take her to a lingerie shop and have her try on a bunch of tiny little outfits for him. Duh. I immediately have emotional, spiritual overload and decide Daisy has got to be in the skimpiest outfits that I can pick out. I love shopping. I love to dress up. Let's go, let's do it. Hey, -o, bring it on. Nothing to see here, people. Keep, move along. It is ha huh, with a ha ha and a hat. Hi, Likey. You're sexy. You sing. You know music. You play bass. You're tough. You're cool. It's just, it's a win win. Win 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 win. They like each other. Like, like, like each other. He is absolutely everything that I've ever wanted, and I want to make sure that he knows that I could be a complete package for him, too. But back at the house, Catherine and Peyton are mad. They haven't gotten to hang out with Brett as much as the other girls. I've been in, what, three competitions? Lost all three, had five minutes with them. I'm having a heart attack. It's like, no matter how hard I try, I lost again. Peyton is especially mad. I've had one date with him, but that's not enough. I need more time. He's out on another day with Daisy. He's going on another day with the same chicks again tomorrow, and the same chicks are getting left out. Doesn't matter how many dates these girls have had. All I know is that I want time with Brett right now. I'm talking about here and now. What is she, Veruca Salt from freaking Willy Wonka? She was a bad egg. Brett and Daisy sit down to eat. I could not think of a better moment to get spiritual and deep than to sit down in a lingerie store and have a nice romantic dinner. And as soon as they try to start having a conversation, Brett is quickly bored. You like traveling? <laughs> no, Obviously, at this well, point in my I mean, career, yes. You know. He's asking me some questions and then a few more questions. Do you like to read? Do you like TV a lot? Do you like movies? Like All the above. A few more questions and then... Do you like surfing? Maybe he only likes her for her looks. Probably, because Brett's a pig. <laughs> Let's go. I want to go back home and hang with you. Yeah. I feel that my date with Daisy went awesome. She looked incredible, and there is no doubt that there is a strong physical sexual connection. However, a little more emotional connection would be good. Peyton writes a note and leaves it on Brett's door. I go down and put a note on the door that says, I need to speak with you immediately. It is urgent. Please. She must talk to him now. <laughs> Megan just so happens to also write a little love note to Brett and puts it on the door. So Daisy is out on her date with Brett. I'm sure he's having a miserable time. And so I decided to write him a love note to make him feel better. So she kindly removes Peyton's note from the door and puts her own up in its place and just throws Peyton's note away. She wants to spend time with my boyfriend. And that's not happening. So I take the note and put it in my pocket and I just threw it out. But Peyton decides maybe she should go change the note a little bit. I was thinking about that note. I wanted to make sure that it didn't come across like a bunch of crazy statements. I go down to Brett's room and lo and behold, it's not there. But someone else has a note. Megan. This part is so good. <laughs> It'll start turning in my head and I'm like, all right. So I go upstairs and I write another note. Did you take my note off the door? What no. I put a note on there, but nothing yeah, was there. there okay, I had a note there and then it was gone. Megan lies to her face and Peyton has no idea. I don't know if she believes me. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's going right through the door on his floor because I'm not taking any more chances. Things are going to start to get sort of crazy, crazy because uh, I put a note on his door to talk to him. Uh -huh. And I went back in there just to check it was there and it was gone. Don't worry. I'm not gonna do what everyone thinks I'm gonna do. Flip out, man. Megan goes to see what's up with her note. So I see the note slip it into the cracks and I naturally pull it out to read it. The note says she really needs to talk to Brooke, which is not happening, ever. Poor Peyton has no idea what she's doing. 
and then she just puts it under this display case and walks away. She is so savage. Brett and Daisy get back from their date. I want more. I want more time with him. So I'm gonna put on my cute little leopard outfit that he just bought me to show Brett that I want his attention. I'll have one drink before I go retire for the evening. <laughs> I get back in the house. The girls are all ready to party and I'm fine with that. Let's do it. And Daisy comes down in one of the tiny little outfits that Brett just bought her. <laughs> Here's a fine outfit. It's obvious to me that Brett is very attracted to Daisy. And it's hard to see sometimes. Let's play a little pool. Let's get a little round going. <laughs> Catherine manages to find a way to get Brett to talk to her for five minutes alone. I make this shot. I get five minutes alone. Alone with you. A pool game ensued, and I knew I needed to get alone time with him. I thought, well, if I'm going to make a shot, I'm going to get something out of the shot. Uh, Catherine is annoying to me. She reminds me of Peggy Bundy, and, like, who the hell wants to date Peggy Bundy? Something about Catherine I need to figure out, and I don't know how to put my finger on it. This is literally the sloppiest kiss I've ever seen. Daisy tries to get into his room, but Catherine messes that up for her. Give me just one, I just gotta... Okay. Let I me just finish this, baby. This time, bitch. Yeah, I'm going to bed. I'm fried. It's finally my turn, but Brett is obviously getting tired and wants to go back to his room. Oh my god, like, did I do something wrong? Did I say something wrong? Like, did you not like you know me so now we move on to the next day oh <laughs> we see amber's boo-boos from the football game i wake up this morning and my injuries are hurting so bad i put everything i had in me into that game i'm not gonna get a date with brett and i am so bombed out the other three girls from the winning football team get to go to a racetrack with brett Brett pulls up in a hot ass Lotus, and I'm just like, wow. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna teach you to drive and let you guys haul ass in this car. Got it, go. Yeah, baby. Ina is a genius and pretends she doesn't know how to drive a stick shift so that Brett has to give her more attention. Jess, are you ready? Because you're gonna have to teach me how to drive. This Come on, thing. I'll show you. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I couldn't stop staring at her chest. I'm gonna milk the fact that I don't know what I'm doing. Go. Oh, it's okay. Then they walk a few feet to the left where a meal is laid out for them. We all get to sit down and talk a little bit about life and a little bit about the other girls. The one that I that I think is really innocent and cute is um, Jessica. Jessica. Jessica is innocent and she cute. She wants to talk to you so bad. I don't think Jeff and I, like, we, we have to email each other. That's why it's been hard because every time we talk, it's just heat. Out of Chrissy Joe just has so much baggage, and that's basically all they talk about. As a girl, how do you deal with that? Oh, I had a restraining order on Jeff, and then I had a restraining order on Howie. JJ Flip, what the zip? <laughs> Christy Joe has restraining orders against two of her ex-husbands, or an ex-husband and a current husband, and uh, a little bit of a red flag right there. And then they head back home. I just, uh, I, you know, I want to get to one on one. Peyton is there still worrying her little head off. I am waiting to see Brett. I'm feeling nervous because although I know that Brett likes me, is that enough to keep me? I feel like I'm missing the boat. <laughs> Welcome home. Thank you very much. Peyton, we gotta talk. Brett takes her into his room to talk. Peyton has only been on one date and it was a group date and it was quite a while ago. I want to talk to her about it, so I took her back to my room. How are you doing? What's wrong? Peyton asks Brett this simple question. Are you attracted to me? And he has the weirdest answer. Don't take this wrong, please. Okay. I will try not to let myself cross the friendship rock out buddy card where it becomes right. more of that right. than a physical relationship or else we become friends right. who occasionally fuck. Like, I've rewound this a few times and I cannot figure out what he's trying to say. I think it's just the longest way possible for him to avoid answering the question at all. I like Peyton as a human being, but I'm not so sure that right now we're not on the friendship level. Better get ready. Okay, thank I'm glad you. we got to talk. Thank you. Here it is, time for another elimination. I hate doing these. This is gonna be a tough decision for me. 
We've taken a plane through the clouds of chaos. Now we've landed at the time of elimination. Or elimination time, as it's more commonly known. Me and Brett have a mental, like, Superman psychological connection. I'm feeling very confused on which direction to go. This first one, she's really put on a valiant effort. Definitely the MVP of her team if her team would have won. Amber, would you come down here, please? Brett's first choice is Amber, and she's like, thank all the lords. I am so excited and touched that he feels the connection to you. She truly busted herself up for him in that chili bowl. I mean, mud bowl. Destiny is pick number two. And continue to rock my world. Yes. There's still a few things about this girl that I would like to dive into her head and find out about. Chrissy Joe, would you come down here, please? I wasn't very happy about this one. I'd be okay if she went home. I can definitely read it on these girls' faces that they are just disgusted that I'm here. And quite frankly, it makes me happy. If Brett does not give me a pass tonight, I'm going to regret not getting enough time with him. Next girl sent me one of the nicest letters ever. Okay, we're finally getting some closure on the notes on the door situation. I know, know that she's making an effort. In fact, she was the only girl who put this letter on my door and it meant a lot to me. Megan, would you come down here, please? Basically, Brett loved Megan's note and Peyton's note is non-existent. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? At that point, I realized that, I mean, I might, you know, have to rip somebody new asshole. <laughs> he wants to date me, not my grandmother. <laughs> Megan is so evil, but she's playing the game. A few more ladies get chosen to stay. When Brett calls my name, I don't even know what he said before my name. All I know is, thank God. I've got two very beautiful girls here and one really difficult decision I gotta make. We get down to Peyton and Daisy, which is surprising. Why has he not picked Daisy yet? But I think he has a little something up his sleeve. He's scheming. It's too soon. I'm on the verge of tears. I don't wanna go. I want another chance. I'm about ready to pass out. I can't even handle it. Peyton's freaking out. This is really freaking me out. Daisy's freaking out. I'm like freaking out. Freaking. I'm emotionally attached to both you. He's not gonna let Daisy go home, right? He has no reason to, right? Would you come down here, please? He calls Peyton down. I don't understand. What did I do wrong? I want you to continue to rock my world, all right? Absolutely. Yeah! I get one more chance, and I'm so excited. Wow, she gets to stay. What? I'm actually shocked. Bye-bye, Daisy. Bye-bye. He gives Peyton a pass, and I'm, I'm done. Like, I've just been sent home. We have never done this before. This girl made such an effort, and that's all I can ask you to do. And I know it goes against everything that I'm supposed to do, but I saved the best for last night, and I want to keep you here in this house. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? So he just keeps everyone. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Brett's like, I don't follow no roles. It felt so good to bring Daisy down in front of all the girls and reward her. I saved the best for last. I gotta tell you something, I could not let any of them go. I felt I'd done the right thing by giving all the girls a second chance. The next elimination we do, two of you are going home. Come on down, let's get some brew. John, you grab us some beers? Crack your Brett's brew and do a cheers. Hell yeah. <laughs> We start off this episode with Brett waking up the ladies. Good morning, good morning. Hello. All my darlings wake up. He's never done this before. Eh, I don't like it. Get out of there. You can get out of there, Brett. Oh, come on. It scares me that two girls go home next time because it leaves the door wide open to any mistake. Saddle up. Have fun. I'll see you in a bit. We get our note, and it sounds like we're going to a rodeo. My heart belongs to rock and roll, but the country boy is still in my soul. I love to ride and be in the wild. I need a girl who can do it in style. So pull up your boots and put on your hats and meet me downstairs in one hour flat. If the if this boys are rattling, you best get skedaddling. Love, Brad. Get your hip huggers on and your Ed Hardy cowboy boots, apparently. It's time for a rodeo. If any of these girls can't handle themselves in that corral, they won't be riding off into the sunset. 
with little old me. I just want to say, last night, I'm so glad I kept everybody here, but the real deal is, I gotta let two of you go. Catherine and Jess need to step up their game if they want to stay in the competition. Jessica and I are the last two girls that have not had a group date, a solo date, any date with Brett. If I don't win today, I'm going home. I have a very, very special friend of mine I brought along. You all may know her from her cackling hellish laugh. Oh, no. Please welcome the one and only Rodeo! No way. <laughs> Rodeo is back. <laughs> you may remember her from season one. <laughs> Rodeo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> She's one of our favorite ladies here on the channel and a total badass. Hey, ladies, how are you? Good. Yeah. Yeah. You guys look great. Oh, what do you? Okay. Yeah. Not. <laughs> I'm playing though, baby. You guys look beautiful. Welcome to Rodeo's Rock and Rodeo Relay today. Whoever wins the relay will win a date with my man Brett. We're at Rodeo's Rodeo. You're gonna start right over here. You're gonna get on your horse. You're gonna ride up to the white line and then you're gonna rope in that steer head. Then you're gonna ride around these barrels of fallen cowgirls. You're going to retrieve bandanas off of some greased pigs. I love this so much. <laughs> I used to ride horses and take riding lessons and I can tell you uh, barrel run is not easy. With that said, this shall be interesting. Who's gonna be the team captains? Catherine and Amber claim to have the most horse experience. Who do you think you wanna ride on your team? You know. Okay. Dana. Oh, okay. There you yeah. go. All right. Christy Jack. Daisy. Yeah, you saw her game the other day, didn't you? There's still an uneven number of ladies. Please don't let me be picked last. If I get left out on this challenge, I'm going home. Jessica. All right. Megan ended up picked last again. I think that the girls didn't pick me because they were jealous. They don't understand what it's like to go through life being hot. It's all that, you know, turmoil of hotness. Megan cracks me up, though. You did not get to play football with us. This time, I'm going to let you decide which team you want to be on. <laughs> all right, there you go. Well, Catherine has been talking all morning about how she's a professional horse rider. She's got all kinds of horse experience, so I definitely think that I want to be on her team. Megan honestly makes smart decisions when it comes to the competition. You are the blue team. Amber, you're the red team. Christy Joe is going to do the lasso. I'm going to do the barrel racing. Jessica and Destiny are going to pig wrestle. I have a dream team. Peyton's going to lasso the cow. I'm good at this. I'm going to do the barrel racing. No brainer. And my other three teammates are going to chase pigs and pull scarves off their necks. Get set, rodeo! Christy, Joe, and Peyton start off with a little trot on the horses. I'm gonna full throttle it. Then they do the lassoing. I'm really nervous to do the lasso because if I don't, you know, hook the bull, my team's gonna lose and it's all gonna be because of me. And the horses run away. The horses are taking off and Christy, Joe is running after the horse. They switch people. So I get on the horse and all I can think of is make that noise to make it go. So I'm like, come on. Kathy was like, I am a pro horser, y'all. Amber and I cross each other's paths. This isn't bumper horses, Kathy. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna cut her off at the pass and possibly spook her horse? I made the choice to go around. Yeah, right, you're barely controlling that thing. It didn't take that much time. It was just a second but I still could have went a lot faster. We are neck and neck with the other team, and it all comes down to the greased pig wrestling. Go, Ina, go! The greased pig part is just... In my life, I have never laughed quite as hard watching the girls run around trying to get the pig dance off Grease Pig. These pigs are like, seriously, they went to college or something because they're a lot smarter than they look. These pigs went to college. <laughs> I 
still can't believe they brought Rodeo back. This is the greatest. It's down to two pigs. It's Jessica and Ina. And Ina's not moving like she normally moves. She's like stalking her pig. Ina, grab him! So I am freaking out at this point. This is pure insanity. Failure is not an option. It's the last pig and little bastard is fast. <laughs> is screaming like that. Shut up! Amber and the red team won. I won! This has been the best moment I have had. Thank God. Eventually you have to win. Like, I mean, you can't always lose, right? That was so much harder, huh? In my notes, I have written Kathy's salad. But what I meant to write was Kathy's sad. I am so upset at this point right now because horses are my thing and we lost. It's my fourth loss. How is it possible that I can't win in these competitions? It's just been so devastating. Peyton and Catherine both missed out on chances for a date. My MVP on this one is going to be Jessica. She went twice in the pig pen. I mean, she actually went crazy. Things you'll do for love. Yes. <laughs> Jessica is the MVP. Most valuable pig wrangler. Can't believe it. Like, not only am I having a date, I have a solo date. It's just going to be me and Brett, and we're finally, finally, finally going to get some time together. And the other three girls on the team will get a group date with Brett. Christy Joe, Amber, and Destiny, we're going to go out on a date tonight and have a really awesome time. It'll be great. Let's get the hell out of this pig shit. There was no grease pigs hurt in this challenge. They head back to the house. I felt like I was going in front of a firing squad. I did feel like I was on death row. I still cannot wrap my mind around it. It doesn't make sense to me. Don't lay on your bed, woman. You were just on a horse. <laughs> Amber is still so banged up from the football game. As my fiance put it, she has hamburger knees. <laughs> But even though I'm hurting, I will not let any of these cuts and bruises get in my way to Brett. <laughs> Who goes 0 for 4? Who? Horses? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Whoa, Kathy, calm down. I have never been this unconsolable. There's nothing that any girl in this house can say to make me feel better. I don't know if you're going home yet. Yeah. Oh, stop freaking out. If, if you keep looking at it pessimistically, because I think... It was yeah. my conversation, I, I know that. I, I... Why are you throwing a tantrum? you got to suck it up, and you got to do I'm it sucking it up. I am sucking it up. Like, bitch. <laughs> Ooh. I'm so excited because I get to go on a group date with Brett. But I wish that Chrissy Joe isn't on our date with us because I think she's full of shit and I don't like her. It is fine dining in complete darkness. Why? You use your senses. Your sense of touch, smell. The smell! But the best part about it is it is pitch black. What? The room is so dark you can't see anything at all. So uh, I've got Michael right here for you guys. He is uh, hello. Hi. Our what visually impaired server. So the person that actually will serve your table is actually blind. So okay. you want to put your right hand on his right shoulder, okay? Wow, this is actually kind of cool. It's pitch dark. I ate in the dark a few times when I was a kid and we ran out of electricity, but this was going to be a sensual experience. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna have fun tonight. I don't care. Immediately, Christy Joe is all over Brett. Now this is what the fine girls experienced while dining in the dark. We had a couple glasses of wine. He was telling me all these like drinking stories from school, and I was like, I bet you have some good stories. And this is what I experienced during the date. We had a couple glasses of wine. The other ladies are just totally clueless. It has to be like right. natural. You know, usually Christy Joe doesn't want to kiss me, and now she's really excited and jumping all over me, and this is going to be good. But this only lasts a little bit. Okay, I don't know what's going on because it's completely dark in here, but all I hear is there's a bunch of rustling. Are you guys wrestling? Wrestling. No. wrestling. No. No. She's pinching my nipples. Christy Joe starts to get weird. Oh my God, what the hell are they doing? Oh, she's, <laughs> Did she split God, she's violent, man. I'm moving I'm chairs. I so Brett decides to switch up the seating a little. I'm gonna be straight up, but at one point while eating, it actually became a kickbox battle. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. I'd like to say it's turning me on, but you can only get bloody so many times at a dinner when it starts to turn you off a little bit. 
She's being selfish. Wait, okay. don't be selfish, bitch. No, I gave you your spot in the limo. You you okay. gave it to me? Well, okay. you took Thanks, it. Thanks, Michael. Gladly. Destiny has to go pee, so Christy Joe tags along. Christy Joe and Destiny go to the bathroom at the same time? <laughs> Big mistake. Leaving Amber and Brett alone. Every time I read her name, I want to say ombre. But I do want to kiss you. <laughs> We're going to get to that right okay. now. Okay. Uh, eating in the dark. They get all hot and bothered. It's such an awesome moment. It's the hottest, sexiest kiss ever. And I'm thinking, I hope this is Brett I'm kissing. <laughs> Moments like this with Brad that nobody else knows about is so few and far between that I'm holding this sacred and I just don't want anyone else to know about it. The date is all done and they go back to the house. I really felt like I got to know the girls at a much different level. It brought out all of our other senses. Sense of touch, sense of smell, sense of being able to block a punch. That's important in the dark. Christy Joe manages to get Brett alone in his room. Christy Joe just hogs him up and she doesn't give a crap about anybody else. This is not cool at all. That's my I'm problem. I'm with your head. And then that's what I assumed. <laughs> so I really want to be with Christy Joe, but I'm feeling she's not emotionally available at this point in her life. My heart says keep her. My head says let her go. She probably is messing with his head. Um, I think you still love the guy that you were with or used to be with or still live with or whatever you do. I just find it very difficult for me to proceed. There's this push, shove, and until you figure that out i don't want you to go but i can't keep you here i don't want you to go but i don't want, want you to stay literally what it's a constant challenge with brett because on one hand he's telling me how great i am and on the other hand he's telling me that he just doesn't know about us so i'm constantly in limbo with him they are confusing i don't even know without a doubt christy joe is completely emotionally unstable but you know what i love crazy girls i can deal with it and it's turning me on brett says he loves crazy girls but um first of all don't call girls crazy that's rude but second of all aren't you here to find love brett because it seems like none of your past relationships worked out so maybe all of those girls were crazy girls maybe you should find one that isn't <laughs> will you stay here yeah, so and just lay here with me yes, and just nothing just hang and just show lay talk normally. hold watch a movie and that's it Absolutely. just nothing if else if you can lock the door that'd be great the door will be so locked christy joe gets to hang out with brett for the night you know like why is he spending the night with her ridiculous <laughs> what the hell is going on it just makes me feel like i want to give up almost because i'm like apparently you and christy joe are like already in love or something she stays till 4 21 a.m you know it was 4 20 and they just didn't want to put it because everyone would be like <laughs> blaze it dude we spent the majority of the night together you know we're getting really close and i'm really falling for brett and i'm starting to feel a connection and i'm scared Kathy is up bright and early to make Brett some brekkie in bed. Elimination is tonight, and I have not won a single date, so I decide I'm going to make my own damn date. Breakfast in bed with Brett. Last-ditch effort, the only time to get him alone. It's my only shot. She's lucky because he doesn't usually even stay at the house for real. I think that Brett should just put Catherine out of her misery because she's like an old horse that you have to shoot or something. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> but he took that nap with Christy Joe, so he is still there apparently. Brett, did I wake you up? I figured if I can't win a date, I'm gonna do everything else I can. You're just gonna bring a so date? You're that, I'm gonna bring a date. You can't win a date, you just bring a date? I'm gonna bring a date to you. Kathy toasts a whole loaf of bread and serves it to Brett. <laughs> Literally, there's a whole loaf of bread on that plate there. Count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I swear. Slices of toast. I know John had let all the girls know that they needed to let him know before they just came into the room. But I'll tell you what, now that I'm starting to know the girls, I'm really not mind and actually like the fact that they're making an effort to come in and get to know me. She's gonna force him to love her. And on that note, I hate this is I've I got know, to literally I know, go. I know. Breakfast with Brett, I leveled out the playing field a little bit. I'm pushing myself on him. Hey! 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 Give me some eyes! Look at me! 
Cool your jets! But at least I had more than 10 minutes with him. But he has to go because it's time for his date with Jessica. This date is gonna make or break me. Right now, there is a lot of girls in this house. The sweet, innocent ones, the earthy ones, and of course the hot sex kittens. And I gotta be honest with you, I have not gone on a solo date with Jessica yet. And I was very curious to find out about my hot little grease pig catcher. They're going paintballing. Nice shot. I would love to know why she chose to wear these. Is she trying to look like Catwoman? Hi -o. We're going up against a formidable opponent. Now you know who we're going up against today? No idea. Ugly Big John. Who was apparently a sniper for the Marines? He's good. He knows what he's doing, but we're gonna beat him. As long know. as you protect me. We're going against Big John, who is covered in black from head to toe in a tower, ready to cyber us. This is gonna be bad. One last kiss for good luck. One last kiss before we die. John, you ready? Yes. This does look fun. Go, 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 go. Jessica, she looks so sexy, so hot. Loving Jessica right now. Oh, that was good. That was good shit. Jess does seem nice, so I think it's cool that they got to have a one-on-one -on -one date and get to know each other better. I am glad that this was our first date because now I know that each time is just gonna like get better and better. I'm seeing a very seductive side of Jessica. There's a part of her that loves to play and get dirty. Thank you so much. And the sweet, innocent thing is melting away quickly. But back at the house... <laughs> I'm going to make sure Brett sees me when he gets home. Daisy and Megan set up a little surprise for Brett. Hello! I see ya. We're waiting. Oh, and that man is wounded when he comes home from war. He needs loving. We're here for you. I see that. I'll see you tonight, elimination. Okay. okay. He's like almost completely unimpressed. He doesn't give one shit. My last date was like a million years ago with Brett. And yeah, we've spent like maybe quality other time together, but hopefully he just hasn't forgotten about me. And hey, guess what? It's elimination time. Oh my gosh. I'm feeling really confident going into elimination tonight and I feel like we're finally gonna move past all of this drama and just be able to start connecting on a deeper level. Brett and I haven't spent that much time together lately and I feel like our connection is fading, but I'm just hoping that he remembers how strong I was in the beginning. He's got a hard decision ahead of him because two girls have to go home tonight. Every single woman has had a date and I have not. This is a girl who last time was about to go home. She showed me not only did she work her ass off to win a challenge, but today she really stepped up and did an awesome job. So Jessica, you come down here, please. Good shit. He picks Jessica first. I think Jessica is a little bit too sweet and innocent to date somebody like Brett. This next girl kisses absolutely amazingly in the dark. Amber, would you come down here, please? Yes. <laughs> then Amber, that makes sense. I just really cannot believe I still have not been given a pass yet, especially after we had such a great night. Would you come down here, please? Daisy gets picked. Megan, would you come down here, please? Megan. A super hot rock chick. Good times. Destiny. And Destiny. I'm more than a super hot rock chick. You know, I want another chance to get that alone time with him, so I'm hoping just keep me one more night. Then the music gets stressful. Christy Joe, would you come down here, please? I notice the energy in the room completely changes when I get a pass because it's all about jealousy at this point, and you know what? It's not my fault, ladies. Brett likes me. Get over it. Three ladies left and only one pass. Here it is down to Ina, Catherine, and Peyton. And my brain is saying, you're going home. One side of my brain is saying, don't give up. And this decision is strictly based on what I feel. Ina, would you come down here, please? Would you stay here in this house and continue to rock my world? He ends up keeping Ina. Ah, uh, my Ukrainian love tank. I'm so relieved. I'm gonna try to get that connection back with Brett because I think we could have a great time together. Poor Peyton is going home. I liked her. I can't stand the thought that leaving you in here and us ending disastrously, and it's not a cop out on my part, I just don't wanna lose you as a friend. I think that we had the makings of an incredible, you know, passionate couple. And that means Catherine is also going home. I'm sick right now. It's the horrible feeling. The frustrating thing about this situation is that everyone had a date with them. I didn't.
but I gave it my all. And I know there's people in there that don't, don't want it as much as me, but he'll have to figure that out for himself. Well, bang. Want to come down? Here we are, seven girls left, and Christy Joe is the most selfish girl in this house. So girls, better watch out. Get your bread sprues and crack those suckers. It's time for a cheers, you mother <laughs> First of all, this site right here, Brett Brew and some cigs. We start out with Ina, worried about what Brett told her at elimination. It's getting hard for me because I know this is serious and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really like you and I just need you to let me know. You don't have to, I don't need a parade. You don't need a sign out in front of my window. <laughs> I'm gonna stand I'm gonna, by your balcony with a sign. I like you, Brett. Brett uses a baseball analogy. Right now, I need her to step up to the plate and take a swing. And then we hear our note. You've shown me how much you care, competing hard and playing fair. Now it's time for red, white, and blue, a patriotic dream come true. It wasn't very clear, so I'm not sure what they'll be doing, but uh, let us see. Whatever it is, I'm there. I want to win. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. Girl. OK, these ladies are adorable. Shirley Claire and Joe and Arlene. Today, what they're gonna help you do is help put together your very own patriotic show, which tonight you will be performing in front of a huge live audience of veterans and active service personnel. And they'll have just one hour to plan their routine. There's going to be three teams of two, and then the lone lady left out will perform solo. Whoever wins this will be going out on a date with me. And the winning team will get a date, as per usual. It's gonna be fantastic, so come up, hang out with the ladies, and work out what you wanna do. I really wanna hula hoop. Yeah. Megan's just gonna hula hoop. I immediately thought that when I needed a teammate, Jessica should be the one. And I think that hula hooping will be really cute, so I'm excited about the whole thing. Amazing. I don't what I have to do, I don't care if I have to jump through fire, I want the solo act. It I, I want a solo date. Daisy is going to sing the Star Spangled Banner. How patriotic. One, two, three. Destiny and Ina are trying to learn choreography in just one hour. In, all over, down. Or honestly, probably less because this woman isn't gonna sit here and teach them for the whole hour. She probably taught them a couple moves and then who knows what they're gonna do. Christy Joe and Amber are going to do a comedy slash tap dance routine. I know the girls don't wanna work with me because nobody likes me. But then Amber and I are getting along really well. We just jive well. I can do a comedy routine and like talk to her as she's tap dancing and then she kind of like does her little stuff. This lady does not look impressed, nor does she look unimpressed. Forget dance moms. Go home, milk a cow. Ah! This is dance mama. Can we do that? Sure. And then, yeah. Whatever okay. you want. Well then, oh, cool. that's us. I am so confident that Amber and I are just gonna rock the joint. I may have my issues with Christy Jo, but you know what? I'm gonna work together with her and we're gonna win this. Megan and Jessica decide to recite the preamble to the Constitution while they hula hoop. We came up with a cute little thing to do. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, to promote general welfare and secure blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. This is gold, though. I wasn't just learning the preamble, I was learning new words. That performance will be unforgettable. At least we know they can keep a hula hoop up. And one, two, three. We have an hour to learn our routine. Head up, smile. Look to the right and look to the left. Twist, twist, what? twist, 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 twist. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't carry on. Head up. Oh, dance mama, you devil, you. Ina's laughing and not even trying to do it right. It's very frustrating, but I'm doing the best I can. Get with it and stop giggling. She's strict. Chrissy Joe and Amber's tap thing is coming along. I thought it'd be cute to make it look like she's my teacher and we do kind of like a dual tap. Back over to Daisy, who's practicing her song. God strives and right stars. I love you, Daisy, but I don't know about this one. I'm getting the solo act. Like, this is working out great. This could be beautiful. It's pretty hard. I love that we can see Jessica and Megan just hula hooping in the background. I think they just straight up hula hooped for the whole hour. Five minutes. Five minutes. You gotta go. Yeah. Go, go, go. Right. Five minutes. Come on, girls. 
Let's go. Put your fishnets on. Hey, girls, come on, move it. Your fan's so way cute. It's time for them to go and rehearse. Isn't this nice? We start getting ready. There must have been a robber because Christy Joe and Amber lost some of their clothes. So pumped up. Nina and Destiny to figure out they can't dance in heels. We were wearing our heels and suddenly our act fell apart. <laughs> and Dance Mama lost any molecule of patience that she had left. I think you still should hold hands or something. In we the can't. Or we keep it, falling it, over. You know what I mean? Because she's shorter than me. We are falling over without holding, too. I know, but it's a lot better. You know what I mean? That because... by, in your opinion. Wow. But all it's, right. that's all Thanks. right. It's your act, honey. Well, she's you don't have to be mean that. about it. You don't have to be rude. She goes a little too far, and it makes Ina look bad. She pisses me off, dude. These women have worked really hard to help us and to make us better, and it's just, it's not cool to disrespect him like that. But hey, the show must go on. Please listen to me. One makes a mistake if one faints next to you, just don't step on her. But I mean, continue. I wanted the girls to really, really put on a great show for our troops. My heart's pounding. I'm just incredibly nervous right now. And Brett's in the front row. Here we go. Welcome to the Brett Michaels Rockin' USO-ish style show. Starring Brett Michaels. With performances by Stars and Taps, Hula Hoops for Our Troops, The Rock of Love Rockets, and Daisy as Daisy. <laughs> that one got me. Now welcome your host, Bill Dwyer. It's an honor to be here. I salute each and every one of you. Brad is trying to find true love, and what better way to find true love than through a cable television series, of course. Is this a roast? Uh, you're very important to uh, not just to me and to Brett tonight, but to the girls, because you're going to decide who wins this challenge tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Christy, Joe, and I are the first ones, so it's up to us to set the bar. Let's watch our first performance. Amber and Christy Joe, but you know them better as Stars and Taps. Yikes. Amber, fantastic. Christy Joe, it was like watching a monkey on crack. Uh, effort, I guess. I know Christy Joe was supposed to be like learning from Amber, but she's just like flailing around. Next. You may know them as Megan and Jessica, but tonight they are hula hoops for our troops. <laughs> yeah. Hey, your shirt fell. No, P put that back on. <laughs> Holy crap, Megan and Jessica are stripping. The audience right now is loving it. This is just unforgettable, like I said. In order to form a more perfect union and <laughs> secure the blessings of liberty for ourselves and for our posterity. How hard can the hula hooping really be? I mean, come on. Next. Ina and Destiny, the Rock of Love Rockets. <laughs> Ina and Destiny start out surprisingly strong. Oh my god, no. It just turns into a pure, unadulterated demonetization. There's a classy way to do something, and there's a trashy way to do something. Dance Mama is disgusted. They sure forgot to mention this part when they practiced. That's why we fight. <laughs> Good save. Start screwing around with that. Oh no, one of the older veterans in the audience gets up and retrieves an article of clothing that one of the ladies threw. He's like, it's my lucky day. The veterans that I'm setting with, these guys have seen some really horrific things before, but watching Destiny and Ina may be one of the most horrific things they've ever seen. Now it's time for Daisy to close out the show. Daisy! Oh, oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? I 
have never heard the national anthem sung quite like this before. So proudly we hailed by the twilight's last gleam. Honestly, this isn't as bad as Fergie that one time. So the last act is done. Let's bring out all the girls right now. Girls, come on out. Now it's time for you to decide who's gonna win this challenge, everybody. For this challenge, I'm not gonna pick the winner. I'm gonna let all the vets decide right here and right now who is gonna be the winner. The applause of the audience will determine who wins. Daisy! Woo! Yeah. Rock of Love Rockets! Woo! Hula hoops for our troops! Yeah. Stars and taps! The winner of tonight's challenge is Hula Hoops for our troops! Who would have thunk the half-naked Hula Hoopers win? So Jessica and Megan get a double date with Brett. Thank you everyone for coming out and supporting us and helping Brett choose his true love. They go back to the house. Brett time traveled apparently and has this whole dinner set up for whenever the ladies get home. I was so, so happy with the girls. They had done an awesome job. They set the table. I'm ready to have a celebration. Hey, good night tonight. Tonight's a party night. <laughs> Woo! Okay, cheers. cheers. Brett gets right down to business. He asks a spicy question. Who do you think is here for the right reasons? Who do you think is here for the wrong reasons? I have gotten closest to Destiny, and as far as I could tell, she's here for the right reasons. Gotcha. Well, since I've been here, I've mostly spent my time with Jessica, because I think she's such a nice, honest, innocent person. Hmm. They're all talking nicely about each other, and that's not what Brett wants to hear. Listen. The problem is, is I, I've gotten Generica to here. Like it's, I've, I'm done with Generica. Now I need to know who, what, why. We gotta stop kidding around about where we're at. You know what I'm saying? Amber. Um, oh God. Here we go, Amber's gonna be real. I just have a feeling about one person. Oh my God. When Amber stood up, I didn't know who she was gonna point out. I was nervous. Chris Joe, I just don't think that, I think at times you say things and, I can see right through it. Yes, go off. I think you're real at times, and I see that realness, but at other times I don't see it. And I'll tell you the reasons why. First of all, when you claim to be leaving, and I know she talked to you about it and you talked her out of it. You talk about your, your ex-husband and everything so much, and you talk about it with passion, I don't think you're over it. She is being wonderfully brutally honest. It's refreshing, really. I've told Brett several times, if you're not into it, you can let me go. It doesn't matter to her either way. Either you keep her or you don't. She's fine. She no, no, that's not what I said. If you're not feeling me, let me know. See, she doesn't even care. There's no emotion. What about you? There's How no, like, do you feel? That's I what we're really trying to get out of you, here. Chrissy Joy. You won't f say anything. Oh boy, here we go. It angers me that Chrissy Joe feels that she doesn't have to explain herself to anybody. We don't know him. Still nothing. Come on, hello. It's popping off. You guys can all say what you can you want to say, but I can't really always say. You wanna say, dude, always, you always do. You wanna answer a for me? Do you wanna answer or not? Oh, hell no! This is the drama we love to see, honestly. He's asking you questions and you still will not answer him. Why? I'm not here for them. I understand you're not here for them, but here's what I'm saying to you. Are you here for me or not? Because at this point, I can't tell you that I buy it. It's getting a little intense. You're wasting your time, and you're wasting their time, and you're wasting yeah, my time. Not, I, wait, 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 wait. That includes all of you. I mean, anybody. You guys have a good night, and I'm leaving at that. That's it. All right? God bless you. 
he goes to bed. At this point, I'm pissed. I want to be left alone. Destiny aggressively pours some wine. I go back up to my room and I start packing. She threatens to leave constantly. At this point, please go. You you can do it. The door is right over there. I felt like this is a nightmare or something. Like so that's what everybody wanted to say. Yeah, you said Amber. It. I felt like he's mad at me for. No, he's not mad at you. He wanted somebody to. Be honest, like, yeah. and you're the closest because you're right there in the room with her. Amber's worried she missed out bad by calling out Christy Joe. I am completely distraught. I'm thinking I've betrayed her, and Brett's gonna think bad of me because I went off on my roommate. Wow. I feel like I up. Drama. Brett talks to Christy Joe. Hello. What are you doing, packing? I can't sit here and be fed to the wolves every day and be attacked every day. They do it every. Day. Oh, boo-hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Your stuff is already packed. Just go ahead and get. I'm going to listen to it, so why don't we go in my room and talk? I love crazy girls, but this one, this one may be a little too crazy for me. This toxic energy is just blah. I'm competing with seven girls or whatever for your affection and your feelings, and I don't even know where I stand with you. So, of course, I'm not going to play it all out there. She wants to know if I really want her here or want her to go. Problem is, I don't know her at all. It's time for Jessica and Megan to go on their date with Brett. I have another date with Brett. It's my second in a row. We're ready. We are ready. Awesome. I think you're going to like it. Oh my gosh, this is a time capsule in video form. An Ed Hardy store. I didn't even know these existed. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how you doing? Now, Pleasure. Adam runs all of the custom design here at Ed Hardy, all right? We're gonna take you around the store and grab whatever you like, and then I'm gonna do a custom cutting on your body. Jessica is excited. This is very oh, overwhelming. I've never had somebody like take me on a date and say, oh, pick out an outfit. Regina George, I mean, Megan makes fun of her excitement. Jessica was like, oh my God, this is so amazing. I'm overwhelmed. I've never been bought anything before. Completely pathetic. Oh, oh wow. They get custom cut Ed Hardy shirts. I don't know why that sentence like hurt for me to say. <laughs> That's gorgeous. You're so welcome. I love my shirt. It was my favorite color. Everything was perfect. Adam, you are a god. This is peak 2000s. Usually someone wearing Ed Hardy equaled douche. Megan and Jessica are looking hot. They are Ed Hardy designed and looking fine. Back at the house. I feel like I need to clear things up with Christy Joe. Amber talks it out with Christy Joe, which is big of Amber. I can't stand the fact that we haven't talked about it. We live in the same room. We can't ignore it and make it go away. I could really care less if she needs to hammer it out. She feels guilty, good for her. But Christy Joe is just like, yeah, whatever. I can't take it back. I wish I could. I should have talked to you and then talked to him, whatever feelings I have. Making up with Amber is not a priority for me at all. I really could care less whether or not we're friends. She needs to go home. Back to the date, they go get some grub. It was really fun to shop, but there wasn't enough quality time with Brett. And now that we're having lunch, we have to actually sit down and talk to Brett some more. I had a blast last night, though, doing that show. Oh, I did. It was really fun, actually. I knew you were going to win because they loved oh, you. Oh, you did. I already knew. Megan brings up the situation where Ina fought with Dance Mama, a.k.a. Joan. There is actually, like, a big situation with Ina there. What? What's the what's the going on with her? I was a little disappointed to find out that my girl Ina was really, really yelling at my girl Joan. I didn't like hearing this. That's very disrespectful. Brett takes that into consideration. You can't disrespect someone who this is their livelihood. Yeah. They're here to help us. Ina, she came on so strong at the beginning, and... I can't put my finger on her now. I've completely lost her somewhere in the mix. Megan does her evil villain laugh, and they head back to the house so that Brett can get ready for nothing. Psych. Elimination. <laughs> I've got everything from everybody, from every which direction, and every story that my brain can handle. I now need to shut down. I need to go into my room, be alone, because someone's going home tonight. I need to think this one over. This is gonna be a tough elimination. A few of the girls are worried they'll get eliminated tonight. With all of last night's drama at the dinner table, I feel like Brett might be a little upset with me, but I really hope that Christy Joe goes home. I'm not feeling confident tonight because of last night and the big blowout, and I spoke my mind. 
I feel like last night definitely hurt my chances. I think Brett is gonna like that Amber was real and said what she said. Let's find out. So here we are, and tonight I'm gonna just cut right into it because I am emotionally and physically spent. I, I want a great relationship with no drama, but I also want no mediocrity in my life. Amber, would you come down here, please? Heck yeah, Amber, there you go. I cannot believe I got the first pass, especially after last night, but wow, it feels great. I just feel totally betrayed, and I just, I can't even look at her. His next pick is Destiny. I know that this girl is in this house for me. I think she is a very beautiful girl. I also like the way she dresses. That's uh, very sexy. I know she's here and fighting for me. So Destiny, would you come down here, please? Which makes sense. This time she did stand up for him against Christy Joe. If I don't get a pass tonight, I am just going to be just devastated. Over the last couple days and the last couple dates, I really got to know this person. Jessica, would you step down here, please? Someone pointed out on the last episode that Jessica was super young during this. That just makes me not want her to win for her own sake. Megan, would you come down here, please? Daisy, would you come down here, please? Would you continue to stay here and rock my world? Forever. Forever. Awesome. I want to stay with him forever. Forever. It's down to the last pass. It's Ina and Christy Joe, and I'm really thinking at this point that what I said last night really hit home with Brett. And Christy Joe's going home. Only Christy Joe and Ina are left. I'm down in the bottom two again. I don't know how much more I can take. I feel like a yo-yo. Both of these people have asked me if they felt that it was not going to work or I felt at any point emotionally disattached. So Ina, would you come down, please? Holy schwo. Thank God Brett is keeping Ina. Yay! So long, Chrissy Joe. See ya. I was just really bummed because I really like you a lot. I felt so close to you at the beginning. I just didn't get to know you as much as I got to know some of the other girls. So your tour ends here. We think Ina is going to stay and Brett actually sends her home. I loved her and in the beginning, she was right there for me. But somewhere along the line, emotionally, Ina checked out on me. And besides that, she was rude to my guest, Joan, and that's disrespectful. In the beginning, Brett and I had a strong connection, but towards the end, it just started fading. What the hell? I'm with Destiny and Amber here. I don't know what it is he likes about her. I just wish that skank would leave. So Christy Joe will stay after all. Christy Joe, I think we have gotten further ahead. You're putting your heart out there a little bit on your sleeve and let me know where you're really coming from. I just hope at this point it's not too little too late. But for now, I'd like you to come down here. It's literally been one week. It's been. And Chrissy Joe has threatened to leave like four out of the seven days. Do you want to stay here in this house with me and try to continue to rock my world? I'm trying. I know. But do yes or no? Yes. You do. So does she really deserve to stay? I think not. But hey, this isn't my show. She's really good at manipulating people's feelings and I think she got too much. I feel good that I got a pass, but it still doesn't resolve any of our issues. Let's continue to rock this house, all right? <laughs> Cheers. My eyes are burning. <laughs> Amber still feels bad about how the dinner went the other night. There's six of us left. I'm feeling life is gonna be hell because of how things went down at the dinner the other night. You know what? I need to step up my game. Meanwhile, Christy Joe finally wants to deal with her issues. I'm just not feeling like I'm in a really good, you know, state of mind today. I really just need to deal with everything that I have back at home. Christy Joe goes to call her husband. So how's everything going there? I mean, it's good and bad at the same time, but a lot of the stuff that you and I went through started surfacing. I don't really know what that means. What does that mean? Just that. So I'm just, I don't know, I'm just kind of confused as to what you're telling me. This is insane. Are you there? I just have a really strong connection with them. <laughs> okay. So are we going through with a divorce? I think oh. we should. You think we should? 
Oh my god, it's ridiculous. This poor dude. This whole time we thought that she was freshly broken up with her second husband, but really she is still with him at this point. You know, I haven't talked to you in weeks, and the first call I get is telling me you want to divorce me. Well, this is just a really great phone call. I'm just trying to be honest with you. This is how you tell him you want a divorce? It was hard for me because I didn't want to do it over the phone, but me making this phone call to my second husband was basically my way of telling the world, I'm here for Brett, I love Brett, and I'm just ready to move on with my life. I don't know how many times I gotta say it. She needs to go home. Let's see what the note from Brett says. Good morning, my sexy six. I want a woman who gets my soul and loves a life of rock and roll. Today we'll test your creative side. Use my lyrics as your guide. Love, Brett. <gasps> Yes. Sounds like they're going to be making some music videos to Brett's music. Oh boy. But Christy Joe says, oh shit, I guess I better go talk to Brett. The first thing I gotta do is talk to Brett because he needs to know that I'm not going back to my ex. Ex of like 20 minutes. But I don't know where Brett's at. He's busy out joyriding, listening to his own music. <laughs> so Chrissy Joe goes to wait in her room where Amber is trying to give her a little pep talk. All right, you're gonna have to like you can pull it together. You know what I'm saying? I am, I am. One minute Chrissy Joe is happy, the next minute she's sad, she's mad, she's scared, she's all these emotions and it's never consistent with her. This is before she finds out what we all just saw. Chrissy Joe informs me that she has a conversation with her soon to be ex-husband and she officially ends it. I guess I'm surprised because I thought you had already did it. I think Amber perfectly embodies exactly how we all feel while watching this right now. So now that you've released him, now you're open for Brett? Yes. Is that the way you feel? Yeah. Okay. Does Brett know this? No. Because I haven't even talked to him. But you're going to tell him this? Yeah. Okay. I have to. You know what I mean? What the fuck? <laughs> I love it. I am at a total loss at this point. And I want Brett to see the true Christy Joe that I see. No fucking wonder Brett doesn't trust you, you know what I'm saying? Like, now it makes sense. Brett gets to the house, so it's time for him to tell the ladies what their challenge is for the day. What you're gonna do is make two music videos to two of my songs. Hell yes! I love music, I love videos, perfect. One of those songs is gonna be called Go That Far. The other one you've all listened to a whole bunch. It's a beautiful ballad called Fallen. Brett has an actual director come in so he can help the ladies with their videos. You're gonna have three hours to shoot this video and edit this video. We'll have an editor to cut together the final product. That's probably the hardest part, honestly. Tell me about it. On each team, you will decide a creative director. The team that wins, two of those girls, get an awesome date with me tomorrow. And the creative director of that team gets to have an unbelievable solo day tonight. I need this bad. Brett picks two teams. One team is gonna be Jessica, Destiny, and Daisy. The second team will obviously be Amber, Megan, and Christy Joe. Thank God I don't have to work with that crabby hoe, Christy Joe. Jessica's got bars. <laughs> Amber became the creative director by going down on her bruised bloody knees and begging us to be the team leader. Destiny is gonna be our creative director. Awesome. I'm really excited for the music video because Destiny has actually done music videos and Daisy can sing in her own mind. Jess is killing it today. She's slowly becoming one of my favorites. All right, what is your song? Go That Far. I am so happy that we got Fallen because I have a strong idea of what I want to do with this. Who can show the most emotion? Hmm, who can show the most emotion? Clearly Christy Joe. I said she cries. <laughs> Crying and laying in bed all day long, that's the same thing she does every day. Not such a hard acting job for Chris Joe. And that's when you need to have that frame in your hand by then because you're gonna be coming in and you're trying to get her to go and she won't go. Amber seems like a good director. I'm trying to be a good creative director and leader, but it's really hard when someone on your team is trying to take over. Right? Then you lead us upstairs and we're all like, what's going on? And you give us these outfits. I think. Daisy is just trying to collaborate with Destiny on ideas because Destiny isn't really saying any of her own. And we come out and we're all like decked out, but we're still kind of like not confident. And Daisy's like actually excited about her idea. And that's the type of attitude you need on a film set. All right, let's do this. Okay, and I just push this button. Oh, and just have to push the red button yes. to record and push it again to stop it. So 
I have no clue. I mean, I'm confused at this point. Like, what? They just hand the girls these complicated cameras and say, go for it. Stay with them. Daisy is the worst camera woman in the world. She has no idea what to do. Seriously, pretend like it's a big cock and focus. Jessica! <laughs> Damn, girl. She's really coming alive lately. If I can keep my hands still, this is gonna be a beautiful shot. Fuck. Oh, girl, I'm sweaty mess. She was all over the place. She was hyperventilating and gasping for air. I mean, she's old lady. I wasn't surprised. Destiny's team seems to get the most help from the director. We are definitely monopolizing Dean's attention for this challenge, but it's clearly more fun to hang out with the three of us than to watch Christy Joe cry all day. But Amber just doesn't really want or need the help. I feel like I have a clear vision of what I want. And action. You're pissed, you're pissed, you're pissed. Slam down. There you go. I don't know if Amber thinks she's the next Martin Scorsese, but she's not. And cut. They finish up their last couple scenes and get their footage over to the editors. Is this possible getting it all done? Uh, well, we have to get all this footage in right now. Okay. And every time you hit pause on the camera, it creates a new clip. Oh shit, was so I fucking up doing that? It uh, just makes it take a while longer. Praise be to this woman who is being so patient with them. Hate to be the bearer of bad news. What? We have 30 minutes left. <laughs> this guy's an ass. Oh, I don't know. Can you give me an opinion on that one? Yeah, we just got a system failure on my computer. Uh-oh, the computer crashed. Oh, shit. Now what? My entire computer system just froze. We're fucked. Oh, we didn't lose that much. Yay! Okay. Daisy has become co-editor. Yes. 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 That's yes. That's good. yes. I feel like I have some good ideas. I'm telling the editor, like, you know, you should keep this or cut there or whatever. Now I feel bad for this editor. I had it right. It's not, it's out of order. Should we watch it? Can we just put Brett right there? I mean, is that so wrong? But it has to be. I'm trying to talk to the editor. Daisy's trying to talk over me. Jessica's trying to talk over Daisy. I don't understand it. Why does he not fucking get it? You try to edit a Destiny. Damn. Editor, stop. Both teams stop working. No more editing. We're done. <gasps> so time is up, and I'm thinking. I hope our vision really comes across, cause I'm I'm not sure at this point. Let's see how they turned out. I walk these streets and wonder why I ever listen to them say you are not the one for me, but they were wrong. And everything you get so is high. After watching that, I have no idea what that was about. I guess they tried. The role of the crying baby goes to Christy Joe! Let's watch Destiny, Daisy, and Jessica's. I mean, Daisy's on a stripper pole, there's girls kissing, there's sexy stuff involved and boobies everywhere. The winner uh, would be Fallen, the Fallen team. But of course, we can't go two minutes without Christy Joe being like, I need to talk to Brad about my problems. I'm so happy that we won this day, but I still need to talk to Brad. I feel so disconnected and I just want this hashed out. And Destiny, you know, I think you did a great job. And you all looked stunning in it, really. Destiny is in anger mode. Oh, I'm so annoyed that that stupid skank, Christy Joe, gets another date with Brett. Ugh. And Christy Joe for still fucking being here after she packed her bags and she's still fucking here. I know. How is that fair? Fuck. Actually, everyone's in <laughs> anger mode. Why are you still here? Didn't you have your fucking bags packed? Fucking mind is twisted. It doesn't make sense. Even Daisy says something to Christy Joe. Have fun on your date tomorrow. Crappy Joe doesn't deserve to win. Pack up your shit. Oh wait, it's already packed. I'm sorry. Just take your shit and fucking go. But before she gets a chance to get Brett time, it's time for Amber and Brett's date. So I planned this elaborate date and we're going to go far, far away to my bedroom. I set up something very cool for us tonight. <gasps> oh my God. 
Come in. I've been waiting for an awesome, awesome date with you. Brett set up like a hookah lounge and invited a healer. Hi. I am. I'm thinking threesome? That's interesting. Amber. Keep your eyes closed for a moment, okay? And think about Brett. Brett and I really need this because of all the drama in the house. And we just needed to breathe and reconnect and find, find peace together. They're having this nice little experience. My feeling is that uh, you have known each other since kind of 12th century. My God, I can't sustain a great relationship. I've known this girl for... God, eight, nine hundred years now. But uh-oh, here comes good old Chrissy Joe. When I was writing my notes, it kept auto-correcting Chrissy Joe to Christy Ho. <laughs> I don't think that God is an accountant, basically. And right when I was about to get complete peace of mind, knock, knock, knock. We we hold on for one second. Someone keeps knocking. It's making me crazy. It's taking me out of the moment. She tries to stop their date because, oh no, she has a problem every 10 freaking minutes. Unless this is God or Big John with a beer, I'd best not be interrupted right now. Hello. Okay. Ah, Christy Joe. Very hot, very annoying, mostly hot. She tries to completely stop their date because she needs to let Brett know that she's a single lady now. Disgusting. When I'm done, I'll talk to you about it and then you can tell me, go to your room because I'm gonna do something really beautiful for you in a minute, okay? I wondered if you would have a few minutes of your time that would mean the world to me. Sure. If there's somebody in this house that needs their chakra cleaned up, it's Christy Joe. Brett sends the healer up to talk to Christy Joe. Can we find a place where we sit either on the floor or some bed or something? I'm thinking Brett's gonna come up here, we're gonna talk it out, and it's just gonna finally be done and we can move forward. Not really what I had in mind. Thanks, Brett. What a move. <laughs> have you seen a sad dream? Have you seen a frustrated ocean? Huh. Have you seen a crazy mountain? What the fuck did you just say? No. Good job, Brett. This is actually hilarious. While this is going on, Brett and Amber are on a pile of pit pitos, pillows. I came into this date wanting to make a deep connection. At this point, my feelings for Brett, I can't turn around. I can't turn back what I've started. I'm feeling very emotionally connected to her right now. The date's over, so Brett invites Chrissy Joe down to talk about what was so urgent. I've had a wonderful date with Amber, but now I need to spend some time with Christy Joe. I want to know what she is really thinking and what she's really feeling. Let's just say the other girls in the house are not loving it. I can't stand Christy Joe. Once again, she's in Brett's room working the magic. Anything you want to tell me? I started the process already with certain people at home. Right. Chrissy Joe starts telling Brett what's going on, but of course, she's still very vague. He's like, so what does that mean, that we're getting a divorce? And I said, yes. Whoa, unbelievable. I guess that means she had lied about when the relationship with her husband ended. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Other than I'm falling in love with you? No. He won't even look her in the eyes. She chooses the worst time. For this. I'm falling in love with you. Like, shut up. Yuck. <laughs> You're gross. Ugh. Please do us all a favor and just go home. But enough of that. Now it's time for Megan and Christy Joe to go on their date. I was not excited about sharing my date with Christy Joe. I'm worried about Brett spending equal time with me. If he doesn't, I'm just going to make him. <laughs> they go out for some din-din. The two girls that hate each other's guts, I'm going to take them together lovingly to the Shade Hotel. I have no idea how I'm going to deal with Christy Joe. She dropped a little bit of a bomb on me last night, but I decide let's just keep it a little cool and light right now. I just want to laugh and have a good time. Two seconds in and Megan and Brett start making out hard for half an hour. Ugh, I can't watch this. My stomach was just like turning, so I have to walk away. And I was like, wait a minute, where's Christy Joe? Hello! Megan taps in Christy Joe. It's Christy Joe time right now, and hopefully without all the drama. Everyone in the house thinks I'm crazy. Wait, 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 thinks or knows? <sighs> I don't like you. Brett and Christy Joe can't hold a conversation unless it's about her husband's. How about those Oakland Raiders? They're great. I gotta admit, 
it was awkward. You know, the thing is with Christy Jo is I want to trust her, but I don't know what to do yet. I don't know what to make of this relationship at this point. Hello. Megan comes to save Brett. <laughs> Christy Joe looked very mad, and I was very happy. Let's rock. They all head back to the house. Amber wants to talk to Christy Joe about barging in on her and Brett's date. I feel like you're playing me. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm not trying to get anybody's fucking approval of me, because I fucking don't give a shit. I don't fucking give a shit anymore. The one person I want to know that what he thinks about me is him. Don't. Don't fucking raise your voice at me. Christy better watch out. Amber is getting mad. You've been fucking with everybody, you've been crying every day here, you've been one end to the other. I am stressed out to no end, so of course I'm going to be from one fucking pendulum to the next. This is how I deal with my stress. You, you deal with it like a ping pong. I love Amber. And I'm over it. You've been fucking with Brett, you've been fucking with me. It's never consistent, I'm sick of it. And now you raise your voice at me? Fuck it! Amber's really messing with my head. She said Amber's messing with her head? Yo, you've been messing with everyone's heads this entire show. Gah, what even? Before I pop a blood vessel, let's watch the elimination. The hardest part for me is he knows I have all this stuff going on at home and he knows I have so much on my plate and I'm doing the best, the very best that I can for him. And I just feel like it's just not enough. If he doesn't get rid of Chrissy Joe, I'm going to flip out. <laughs> going into elimination tonight, I didn't win the challenge yesterday. I was the creative director. We lost, and I don't know where I stand right now. Here's the first pick. She's not, so far, not too much of an emotional roller coaster. She seems mostly sane, and we've known each other since the 12th century. So, Amber, will you come down here, please? Amber deserves that, no doubt. You stay here in the house and rock my world. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay. I got the first pass. I am so excited and touched that he feels the connection to you. Daisy is his second pick. There's no doubt in my mind. I want to stay with him forever. And they use the same clip from the last episode, the one that I mocked forever. He chooses a couple more ladies. Jessica, would you come down here, please? Destiny, would you come down here, please? I don't understand. Where's my pass? Now it's just Christy Joe and Megan left. It, it was really, really tough decision for me to make so i'm gonna start christy joe would you come down here please oh my gosh yes he calls christy joe down send her home send her home send her home there is no doubt we have had um, an unbelievably roller coaster like relationship in this house please one thing i need to know from you right Damn it, commercial break. <laughs> They're really milking this one. My thing is, is the heart feels what the heart feels. And I gotta tell you something, my heart really has affection and a connection to Christy Joe. What are you saying? Would you continue to stay here in his house and rock my world? Say I'll go, say I'll go. You tell me. Come on, come on. I can take it either way. What do you want to do? She clearly wants to go. I can't believe that Brett is gonna leave the decision on if I stay or go in Christy Joe's hands. I just have a lot of stuff at home that I gotta take care of. And I couldn't take care of that with you. That's what I'm asking you. This is ridiculous. I need to go home and take care of my business. Finally. Okay. That's all I needed to hear. All right? Come on. I'll walk out with you. All right? Go back to your husband. I have to believe in my heart that Christy Joe really, really had feelings for me. And maybe somewhere in the future we'll find each other again. But right now, it was just the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, spike that lanyard, Brett. I think at this point, we're all wondering if Megan's gonna stay. She's standing there with no pass, and she has no idea what Brett is feeling. My heart goes to her. So Brett wanted Christy Joe to stay, not Megan. And Megan, I would love for you to stay here in this house and continue to rock my world in here. Enjoy the night, all right? I'm gonna step out. 
okay? I bet she's offended. I had to walk out because I was emotionally destroyed. I really had feelings for this girl, and I'd be lying to say it didn't kill me when she wanted to leave. My God, that really got him that worked up. Chill, my dude. Even though Christy Jo ruined Brett's mood and then I didn't get my speech and my pass and what I deserve, I'm just going to move on and focus on me and Brett. No Brett's brew? This is a first. It's weird finishing an episode without a Brett's brew cheer. But you know what? That's okay. Because ding dong, witch is dead. <laughs> It's a fabulous, beautiful morning. The birds are singing, and Christy Joe has finally left. All is happy and peaceful once again in Rock of Love Land. But Daisy, we know it can't stay like that forever. Let's hear the note from Brett. Right now, my heart is a little sore because after tonight, there will only be four. <gasps> Love, Brett. Hi. Right. Tonight we're having an elimination? That's what it says. I don't know. There's going to be an elimination tonight, and that's all we know. That's a little strange. Let's see what they're gonna do. I feel that I've gotten fairly close to the truth with all of you. In an effort to get to know you better, I have some very special guests. I'm ready to find out with my sexy five girls who's telling the truth, who ain't. How you doing? This is Destiny's ex husband. I'm Brett. Man. Nice to meet you. All right, we're gonna have some fun today. Brett invited the ladies' exes. This is uh, Jessica's ex, Casey. This is Megan's ex, Josh. <laughs> this is Daisy's ex, Charles. And Amber's friend, Adam. <laughs> this is Amber's best friend, Adam. Amber got lucky, what the hell? <laughs> I really wanted to find out about Amber's exes, but I could not get one of them to come out. I don't know if this scared me or not. But wait, that's not all. In all fairness to you, I have also brought a friend of mine, someone who I've spent a lot of time with, someone who I really care about a lot. This girl has always had my back. I give you Heather. Heather is here. One of our favorite ladies from season one and ultimately the woman who should have won. When I saw her last season, I just thought she's a wild child. I love it. It's Heather. If you don't remember her, check this out. Tattoo parlor, please. Guys. <laughs> we can do that. Take your top off and get a mix You're going to date a rock star, you got to party like a rock star. Oh, I saw you <laughs> in there. I don't think you're going to be that girl. <laughs> If you missed that, go check out my videos for season one. I did the whole season, every single episode. <laughs> Truth of the matter is we have now become unbelievably close friends. You know they fuck. We know a lot about each other. You can ask her anything and believe me, she will fucking tell you. I am definitely intimidated by Heather. I mean, how could you not be? Look at her. She's also going to find out a lot about you. And then tonight she's going to sit with me and pick one of you to eliminate. Heather is going to get to know the ladies while Brett goes out and gets to know their exes. I'm going to take my girls' exes out with me. We're going to talk and I'm going to get dirt. In the house, I'm going to have Heather. I'm going to unleash her. I'm really nervous right now. There's something really huge that I haven't told Brett about Charles. What do you mean, Daisy? All of the secrets are coming out, y'all. The party starts right now. We'll start with you. Awesome. Your out. Heather is a party in human form. First thing that Heather has discovered is the bar. Go figure. It's 11.30 a.m. We're getting naked and taking shots. Who gives a damn? Brett asked me to come in and get the dirt on these chicks, and I intend to do so. Heather's only been here for 10 minutes, and already she has us doing body shots and taking our tops off. I feel like we've been thrown to the wolf, the head wolf. Heather is officially all of their mother now, and, <laughs> and that is that. I love having all topless women in the house. <laughs> So while Mama Heather and her family are going to go take off their clothes, let's go see how Brett's doing with the ladies' exes. Can't be good, right? <laughs> I'm simply taking the girls' exes to a cigar club. There's only way I'm going to get information out of these guys is if we're hanging out. That man is rolling up big old doobies. <laughs> do, you all want, do you guys want to try a cigar? Anybody? No one wants to smoke cigars with you, Brett. You want to try one? Anybody? 
In fact, no one wants to talk to Brett. <laughs> I, I don't know where to start. I mean, um, I know it's awkward. It was awkward being with the exes. This is this is my own doing and my own demise. Yeah, this is so weird. What do you think about Megan? I just can't put my finger on her. She's a funny girl. She's fun. As, yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as that goes, but uh... Josh tells me that Megan has been on another reality show before coming in to do this one. That's fun new info about Megan. I had no idea. She's never been forthcoming with that information to me, so I just don't know uh, what her real purpose for being here is yet. Back to the house. I feel pressured to make a good impression on Heather because Brett thinks that I am, might be too innocent to handle his lifestyle, but I will prove him wrong. This shit is fucking pimp! Oh my god! You guys, I'm a little jellioso about this shit. Really fast, really know? fast. Sit down. Right before the other girls come back. Okay. Who do you guys hate here? Heather is getting valuable information from the ladies. You're familiar, so where, where do I know you from? I've done a lot of TV stuff. So you've been on other reality shows, right? I was on one other reality show. So which one was it? Beauty and the Geek. Megan was on Beauty and the Geek? Oh my gosh. Forgot that even existed. But yeah, that makes it seem like she's just there for clout or whatever. Everything is going just like I planned. And the girls are already spitting out the truth. I love it. I'm good. The sun is literally setting, so my lighting will be slowly going away. <laughs> Heather questions Destiny a little. Who are your favorite bands? Poison, Motley Crue, mm -hmm. ACDC, Great White. I love all that shit. Like, I just saw fucking Poison and Rat play in August right by my house. Have you ever dated a rock star though? I was in love with um, this, he was the drummer for um, Bride. Everyone thinks she's a groupie. Destiny is going on and on about all of her favorite rock bands and it's pretty obvious that she's a rock star groupie. And I think Heather is just taking it all in. They play truth or dare. Truth or dare. Dare, baby. Ah! And well. I want you to take all your clothes off and I want you to do a cartwheel on the grass. Okay. Yay! She excitedly obliges. Do it! Do it! No. <laughs> you want to be with Brett? You got to know how to party. So I had to show Heather I could I could definitely party. I didn't need to see that. Everyone's still cool, having a good time. Sure. Yeah, oh, for sure. As strange as the situation may be. Exactly. Brett asks each lady's ex about them. Tell me about Destiny. I know you were married. She likes to party. I don't want to ever have a fear that if I let her go to a concert, the only thing she's looking for is a backstage pass. Destiny sets on the fine line between rocker chick that's super cool and possibly uber groupie. And how about Daisy? This guy is Chris Angel on steroids. You've known Daisy for a long time. Right. We were in a relationship together for a good three years. She was in the same band with me, so we toured together. I just want to see Daisy happy. Do you guys still have a physical relationship? No. Gotcha. Okay. Back at the house. Someone's going home tonight, and I need to know who the fuck is the worst one here for Brett. This is very difficult because I feel like this person is the closest person to me in the house. I just feel like Jessica's too innocent, and she's too not prepared. Megan makes Jessica cry. This whole time, Megan and I have been obviously the closest to each other, and then suddenly I feel like she was using my weaknesses against me and trying to throw me under the bus. And to be betrayed really sucks. Oh, honey. I'm fine, I'm fine. Let's go talk. Me and you want to go talk? Come on. This episode is slowly going downhill. I can already see it. I just said that she was very innocent and naive, but obviously, point proven. I'll tell you the pros and cons of everybody. Destiny. Holy hell, if I'm getting this much dirt immediately, what other dirt is there? Everyone's slowly falling apart. You really are into rock music and you really like rockers and you keep like finding the wrong ones. Is that what's going on? Exactly. I'm here to get the dirt on these chicks for my friend Brett. So far it's been pretty easy. I am kicking myself for not having told Brett this, but either way, it's probably gonna come out. You know what? I need to fucking talk to you. Oh my like, God. Like really fucking Oh, fast. come on, honey. And Daisy drops a bomb. You, well, then you need to tell me because he's gonna ask me if you were honest with me. The, the only one thing is, is that we still live together. Holy hell, I cannot believe Daisy just told me that she lives with her ex-boyfriend. That's a little sketch. First thing you need to do is move out with your uh, move out of your fucking boyfriend's house. You don't need to be here trying to date Brett. Live with your fucking ex-boyfriend, honey. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is. And I'm glad we had a great talk. You fucking totally, you have nothing else that you need to tell me? No. And that's all I need to know. I gotta pee. <laughs> 
what a way to make your exit. <laughs> Such a serious moment and Heather's like, I gotta pee. Just leaves Daisy there a crying mess. Girl is a total blubbering train wreck. I cannot believe someone would come here living with their motherfucking boyfriend. Heather is saying to me, Daisy is still living with her ex. I think that that's great. Find something terrible about somebody and focus on that. Even if Megan only is here to be on TV, you gotta admit she's funny sometimes. Back to guy time. Dave and Buster's, heck yes. <laughs> Dave and Buster's rocks. The only one that seems to like Brett is Adam, Amber's friend. And he hasn't even dated anyone, so he's no help to Brett. <laughs> Go How ahead. do you convince them that you're sincere? You know, it's tough for me to do. I'm pretty open. You know what I mean? I can't tell you that it's not awkward. Yeah. Like, you go out and you're having a date. It's tough enough to date one girl. Imagine dating three on the same fucking date. Brett wants to talk to Daisy's ex, Chris Angel Extreme, one-on-one. -on -one. I'm just saying, if you two still have a great physical connection or a love connection or whatever, I don't want to get emotionally attached to her. I understand. It's, it's the straightest. Like, I know it's difficult for you to see. Yeah. I don't want to be an ass, but, it, you know, what's it, up? maybe it's, yeah, what's up, you know? What's up? Yeah. Okay, and we got absolutely nothing from that conversation. I'm not sure quite what to make of Charles. He's a bit of a conundrum wrapped in an enigma, wrapped in a mystery. Let's go check in on the ladies. Jessica is starting to get a little drunky. I'm not saying that being innocent is a bad thing. That's not who I am. At this point, I've had a few drinks. I'm starting to feel a little bit drunk and it's just so frustrating to every day to have everybody tell me how sweet and innocent I am and it's really starting to piss me off. Where's Brett? Oh no, she is a mess. If Jessica wants to prove that she's not the little girl that everybody thinks she is, drinking more and more and more and falling apart is not the way to go. <laughs> Megan's not wrong. Uh, oh my God, girl, you wore me out. But she needs fucking help right now. She does not drink. How in the hell are you gonna handle this lifestyle? Man, how did this happen? Oh, oh there she goes, baby, there she goes, come baby, on. Come on, come on, get in her. She's throwing up all over the place. She's falling down. She's pulling people down with her. The poor girl. Holy shit. So I get home and I want my girls. I need to see my girls. I want to touch them, hold them, feel them. Brett, yuck. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's okay, tell me how you feel. Should I go out and look? What's going on? <laughs> Everybody's been crying. Oh, Everybody's no. crying. Holy shit. No, don't go. <laughs> Who is that? That's no longer the Jessica we know. I have to, like, I just have to tell you. Please don't go. Okay. No, no, no. I won't, I won't go. Look. Blah, blah, blah. Jeez. Right. Uh-oh. Is this, like, her first time drinking? Wowzers. Heather, what have ye done? Time for Heather to tell Brett all the glorious things that she discovered today. Maybe we start with the drunken Jessica. Okay, and let me just say, she's very, very young, Brett. Can you picture her on tour with you like that? No, and what I'm saying is she's not only a young in age, she's also a young soul. She just may be too young for me. Not maybe, is. Okay, Megan? He says, I can never quite tell if she's there because she actually likes you or if she's there as a stepping stone. The upside on Megan is she's got a great rack. Cool. I freaking love Heather. Why didn't you marry her, Brett? Megan's ex that came on the show never even actually dated her and apparently only came on the show to promote his business. So Megan starts crying and I'm thinking, I've never seen this girl cry before. But he's saying to me, I'm here to promote my bar. I don't care about you. It hurts uh, because he didn't want to be my fucking boyfriend two years ago. She just tosses her glasses high that shatters on the floor. What is happening? I'm thinking something's going on here. She's not over her ex. I wanted him to be my boyfriend so bad and he refused to. Brett needs to know about this before elimination tonight. Heather and Brett are still talking about the ladies. So let's go on to Amber. Okay. What Amber. You, what is your thoughts? You know, I really like Amber. She's my age, she's sweet, she's mm -hmm. cool. However, I just don't think your lifestyle 
would mesh well with hers. Got it. Like, she'd be uncomfortable, like, on a tour bus when tits and ass are all over the place. Yeah, we don't want that. This is supposed to help Brett make his decision. Sweet, sweet destiny. The bottom line with her is, I just think she wants to date a rock star. You, you and me are dead on that one. Yeah. Now, Daisy. Give okay. me the DL This on Daisy. is the one that I have the most problem with. Okay. The fact that she still lives with her boyfriend, ex-boyfriend. Didn't see that coming, did you, Brett? Heather drops a little bomb on me. Charles and Daisy still live together, but they're just friends. I'm like, she was the worst one here for you, period. All right, so Heather, thank you. This is why I love you. You got these girls to finally go over the edge. I need to sit down with Charles and Daisy and figure out if they still got feelings for each other. He goes to talk to Daisy and tank top. If I wanted to keep her here in my life, are you, are you cool with that? Am I cool with that? Yeah. I hope that Charles and Daisy are telling me the truth because I really like Daisy and he seems to be cool about it. I'm not sure I do believe it, but I want to believe it. Who knows what the truth is on this show ever. While Jess tries to sober up, the guys leave. I think bringing the exes is a very scary idea because it could have went horribly wrong. But these guys were pretty class. I think they gave me a lot of insight on the girls and inevitably that's what I was looking for. But I'm gonna get ready for elimination, okay? Amber talks to Brett real quick before elimination time. I learned a lot about the other girls. And there's one in particular I just really think you should know about, and that's mm -hmm. Megan. I saw her ball. I saw her be so upset, repeat the same thing over her about her ex-boyfriend. You know, it, it, it shouldn't bother her that much. I'm like, you're here for Brett. Now that one kicked me right in the nards. So now Brett wants to talk to Megan. So I'm so excited that Brett wants to talk to me before elimination. I run, I jump on him, I attack him, and I give it to him. And she just completely deflects and distracts. <laughs> Do you still have really strong feelings for yeah. Josh or no? Who? No. Oh my God, that was forever ago. Amber brought that to my attention. She me? No, you just gotta be confused. Somebody else. Right. But hey, it's elimination time. Let's see how the ladies are feeling. I hope that Brett loves me as much as I love him and <laughs> fuck the haters, man. I fucking rallied tonight. Yeah, I don't remember it, but I was there and that's all that really counts. I'm feeling pretty confident tonight because I didn't throw up. I'm not a stripper, and I don't live with my ex-boyfriend. Yep, I think I'm pretty good. Yeah, Amber, I think you're set. Hello. Today has been a very interesting, not to mention awkward day for me. This first girl, I think she's there for me. She has stepped it up. I feel close to her. I feel connected. Amber, would you come down here, please? See, told ya. But will you continue to be in this house and rock my wall? Yes. My feelings for Brett have grown so much, and that feels really good to have your feelings validated. Let's see who else he picks. So, Destiny, would you come down here, please? <laughs> Daisy, would you step down here, please? No more bullshit, all right? No more. There's some other things that I want to tell Brett just to make sure that he's okay with some other stuff, and I hope that I get a chance to do that immediately. Wait. What was that, Daisy? There's some other things that I want to tell Brett. Are you kidding me? What else could there possibly be? And they're going to make us wait until the next episode to find out. <laughs> I've got one pass. Jessica and Megan are the last two left. I think they're here for the right reasons. So Jessica, would you come down? I think Jessica is genuine. I think she's here for all the right reasons. She tells me she loves me. She's got more energy than anyone to know. It's it's tough to not like Jessica. Wow, he keeps Jessica. Pretty sure I've made an ass of myself in more ways than one, and I'm sure I owe him an apology. But I definitely showed Brett another side of me. I'm a little surprised, but I guess Megan was being sort of sketchy, so I get it. Megan, would you come down here, please? Will you hold my hand? sorry but the tour ends here i really am sorry she just shakes her head and doesn't say a word and doesn't react in any way hmm. brett clearly wants her out of this house she just doesn't understand baby i really tried i mean i did i just He just walks her out. 
I really did have feelings for Brad, and it hurts that he didn't see that. Just give me a kiss, No. <laughs> it's not for all. I decided to let Megan go. I just wasn't quite buying the story that she was here for me. And then comes right back in for a big announcement. Like, it didn't affect him at all. Here's the deal. We're about to take it up a level. We are going to pack our shit, and we're going to jump in a Learjet tomorrow, and we're going to fly to Vegas and party like fucking rock stars, all right? Like rock stars oh wow and heather is going too how fun <laughs> heather really is helping me get information out of these girls she is doing a great job and i'm just hoping and praying heather can help me find out even more about these girls why didn't he marry her we shall never know but who cares because it's time for the brett's brew cheer to partying like fucking rock stars <laughs> I don't know so much about Heather coming with us, but I'm going to Vegas with my man, Brett. I think Daisy meant to say with mine and Amber and Destiny's and Jessica's man. And Heather's there too. We got four girls left in the house. I have feelings for each of these four girls. And I'm just hoping and praying Heather can help me get to the bottom of this. The ladies are getting ready to leave for Vegas. <laughs> Are we ready to go? You want to jump in the limo? Yes. Let's go. And let us not forget that Heather is going too. I feel like I'm traveling like a rock star. I want to dance. I want to party. I want to be sexy. I want to get down and dirty with Brett. I just, Sin City, hello. Destiny and Daisy have apparently gotten close during the show. I had no idea. It's hard that Daisy, being one of my closest friends in the house, happens to be also my biggest competition. They get all kinds of presents and a note from Brett. My awesome foursome and Heather. <laughs> Welcome to Vegas. I hope you like your suite. I picked out a few gifts for you to enjoy. Jessica and Destiny, please change into these goth outfits. I thought she said goth outfits. <laughs> you look like a corpse. Thank you. I'm sitting here looking for spiked bracelets. I had to rewind. These goth outfits. Golf. And meet me downstairs. Amber and Daisy, I will see you tonight at dinner. Love, <gasps> Brett. Oh my God. I am totally pumped. It just so happens that I might know a thing or two about golf. I played varsity golf in high school for four years. Jessica and Destiny are going on a golf date with Brett. Somehow Heather convinces them to do their hair 80s style. I love it! These girls are so stupid. 80s hair is so out. Even I know that now. I love that she calls herself out for her hair in the first season. I couldn't help but roll my eyes. Her 80s porn hair is bad. Really bad. <laughs> When I saw Destiny and Jessica's golf looks, I gotta admit, it took me back some fond, fond memories. <laughs> That's how he used to style his. Mm, mm, mm. Back at the hotel, Heather is still playing spy and trying to figure out the lady's deepest, darkest secrets. Find out all the dirt on these skanks. Have you, have you guys hooked up with Brett yet? Yeah, uh, like 500 times. <laughs> What the heck, Daisy? Where did that come from? Earlier in the season, she was so adamant that she hadn't done anything with Brett. And now she's like, did it a 500 times. <laughs> what, what am I gonna say? No. Have you done anything? All we've done is made out, kiss. That's it. Amber did this normal thing that you would expect someone to do having only known each other for a short period of time. Daisy's biggest strength is her sexuality. Truth is, I can sex it up for Brett. But how in the hell is Daisy going to magically form this mental connection with him? I cannot even picture Brett and Amber in a relationship. I mean, Amber, probably wearing granny panties. Daisy thinks Amber is ancient. <laughs> Daisy also thinks that she is the top girl right now. I really need to sit down with each of them and figure out what's going on. So do you, you feel like you have a, like a very tight bond with him? Me and Brett have spent a lot of time together. So you don't feel like any competition with any of these girls here whatsoever? No. Daisy also thinks that she is the top girl right now. I don't think that anybody at this point can beat the chemistry that I have with Brett. Who, in your honest opinion, do you feel is is not right? And what's your take on the whole thing? Like, yeah, like, I don't, like, think any one of you is good for Brett. It's been one day. Daisy realized Heather doesn't want to just chit chat with her about the other girls. I need to keep my guard around Heather. I got you, girl. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Very cool. I think she she doesn't like me. She wants to take me down. Now Heather sits down with Amber to get the down low. 
Who do you think is not right for Brett out of the four of you guys? I don't know Daisy very well, but from what I do know and what I've seen and witnessed, I do feel like she is codependent. She is looking for someone to save her from her life. Heather tells her that telling Brett what's up with Daisy is the right thing to do. He's got to know that. Because mm -hmm. all he's known is this. I know, and he's, and he's a guy. I know. Mm -hmm. well, you know he's just trying to think with that. I know. That's what they think with. Bringing Daisy's issues onto the table is a good thing. And that's what I plan to do. She's not good for him, girl. Daisy was right in assuming that Heather doesn't like her. Let's go see what Brett and his dates are doing. We get to the golf course and the sun is setting. It's looking very romantic and I'm, I'm very excited. I'm ready to play golf. Baby golfing. Okay, stretching is good. Just watch the ball and have fun. Go right, right for the flag. Nice shot. Jessica is pretty good and Destiny is... Oops. It allows me to show off a little bit and show my confident side at doing something that maybe he didn't know that I knew how to do. Clearly, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. That's okay, nice. good shot. Jessica is winning this date for sure. I think he needs to see the sexier side of me now. I get kissed for that one. That was <laughs> awesome. Ooh. Ooh. Destiny does try really hard to steal the attention though. Destiny has never golfed before and I can see Destiny pass back slutty because she doesn't know what she's doing. Oh, 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 oh. Sit. Look at that. This was so much Did fun. Did you have fun? Yes. Awesome. They're all done. Everybody got bogeys and stuff. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> golf. Now he's got another date coming up and I'm just hoping it goes really bad. They get home and my refrigerator just turned on. Is my refrigerator running? Yeah, I'll go catch it. Anyways, Daisy is uncharacteristically mean. It was really I'm fun. Yeah, right. we're gonna go we get, get ready, ready for our date. So, oh, whatever was yeah. your date. Okay. What the heck? Daisy gets right up in my face being really fucking rude. I don't know what her problem is. This makes me feel like Daisy hasn't been a friend to me like I thought she was. I hope their date sucks. It's time for Amber and Daisy to go on their date with Brett. I am really nervous. I feel like this is my last chance to talk to Brett and I've got to tell him how I feel. There's a lot of things about Daisy that don't quite add up and I don't fully understand. And I think Brett needs to know about these issues too. According to Brett, the girls need some meat. Ew. Here's what I want to find out from Amber and Daisy. I want to find out a lot about them, especially in the ex-boyfriend department. I think someone's got a story here to tell. Amber plans on spilling the beans on Daisy, but Brett gets to it first. I thought we had settled this all, and obviously he's still upset. Daisy is annoyed. I haven't been physical with anyone for like two years. That's just about mine. I want to believe in my heart and soul and for my own ego that a girl like Daisy can go two years without sex. I ain't buying it. He doesn't have a job. Obviously, I do. We've been through some crazy ass shit. And I think if you explain some of the crazy ass shit, I'll get it better. Her answers are not working for Brett. Yeah. You're leaving out a chunk. Well, we. And I, <laughs> so I it's just, hard to talk about. Like, I don't, you know, you know. Well, say what you can say. Just... At one point, I had been pregnant and I had an abortion. So it's like, you know, we had. He, like, stayed there still to make sure that I was okay. Damn, I really didn't expect that. That's a tough subject for anyone to talk about. I just want to remain sensitive around that topic. And that's all I can say since we only have minimal information. I'm worried that Brett does not understand that me and Charles are just done. I mean, we're done. I have crazy ass feelings for Brett, not Charles. Brett. Amber gets some new info out of Daisy. How do you pay for, for like, you know, the implants and like, because, you're supporting him and like. Because I make really good money. What do you do, Daisy? Like, I don't well, think I've I am a dancer. Okay, she's a dancer. I mean, that's actually not really that much of a shock, but I wonder if Brett realized that or if she told him because we all know how Brett feels about dating strippers. 
I think it's really important for Brett to understand the differences between me and Daisy. I'm at a stable place in my life. I have a stable income, a job, and she's stuck in this two-year lease with her ex-boyfriend, but still she's able to get boobs and extensions and lip injections and all this other stuff, so it's just not adding up to me. I bet this is all making Amber feel so good. You have no debt or anything like that? Yeah, I have. Dude, I have fucking... I have a ton of a shitload of debt. <laughs> it's none of her business. I don't have to explain shit to Amber, because I'm not trying to date Amber, so Amber should just pipe down. I feel for you. Mm -hmm. I really do. Back to Heather and the ladies. We are all hanging out, having a great time, and suddenly the conversation turns to Daisy. And Heather makes it very clear that we all need to be really weary of what Daisy is up to. Heather tells them what Daisy said earlier when she was talking to her. I go, those girls are beautiful. She's like, I thought no competition. The fact that Daisy says that she has no competition in this house pisses me off. This causes Destiny to throw a literal tantrum. God. <laughs> More oh, you. fucking confusing, dude. Ah! I have to let it out so I don't saw her in the face when she walks in. I know. She's literally acting like she's four. <laughs> My god, Destiny starts to get overly emotional about this whole situation. Destiny is acting like a nut. And I know that the minute Daisy walks through that door, it's gonna be on like Donkey Kong. Brett and the ladies head back to the hotel. So what happened? How was it? We had dinner and like you just had good conversation. Of, yeah. Like what? Of, obviously talked about my past relationship. I've been wondering about that today well, myself. Tell me about it. What are you wondering? Destiny and Daisy start bickering. What doesn't make sense to you? That you still live with your ex-boyfriend that you were with. Well, you know what? Ex. I'm not a cold-hearted bitch and I'm not gonna kick him out. Of I'm not street. saying that, dude. I'm just asking. Then what are, you. Okay, well, that's what I'm saying. I don't get it. I don't understand. Well, if you shut your mouth, I can tell you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Excuse me? Are what? you gonna listen? Are you gonna I'm asking you a question. Why do I need to tell you? Why do you live your ex-boyfriend if you're trying to date Brett Michaels? Ladies. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Seriously. All right. Amber's gonna join in too. Hold on, hold on one second, all right? Destiny is not the only one that has things on her mind to talk to Daisy about. I do too, and I'm gonna let her know. Heck yes, let's go. You guys live in a one bedroom apartment for the past two years. Yeah, and but seriously, I'm here for Brett and I'm 100% open. You don't think I'm here for Brett? No, I, I just and fucking am. Like, oh my like, god, that fucking dirty no, laundry. Like, 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 why'd you just listen to me for a second? Jessica just sits back and enjoys the show. I don't understand why they're all gang up I'm on not. me. What I'm saying is there's a lot of secrets going on. I talked to Brett about it. Obviously not enough because he's questioning you tonight at dinner. And that's taken away from my time and I'm sick of people taking away from my time. Well, I'm Brett. sorry, Thank baby. You. you should have more to talk about with him then. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Ooh. This is wild. Fuck up. What did I do to you? Listen to me Leave me second. alone, Just dude. Listen, listen. Do you think you're better for him than fine? Listen. You're not going to be with my friend. Now everyone's against Daisy. Don't roll your eyes at me, bitch. You live with your ex-boyfriend, you guys are goo goo gaga eyes. How do you know that I'm because goo goo gaga eyes over here? I'm sick! If I was, then why the fuck are you? And then Heather, out of nowhere, throws a drink at her. You're not gonna be with my friend. What? I'll be damned! My lord, what is happening? This is a friggin' circus. Jessica is loving it, and I'm scared. <laughs> Big John, thank God, comes in and saves me from these psycho women I'm really upset and I don't want to go because I don't want Brett to see me like this. And the ladies just have to pretend nothing super intense just happened. Secretly, everybody's hating Daisy right now. So we have a 13. Hey. Do you want another card? Or have you good then? Yeah, I'm good. Just good times right there. Good times right there. <laughs> but after that fight, I can't even freaking focus. I can't pretend that everything is okay. And here we go again with Destiny and Daisy drama mamas. I'm sorry, does anyone else here live with their ex-boyfriends? Why do you live with your goddamn ex-boyfriend? Because the situation- For the past two years and you say you haven't been intimate in two years? I call bullshit. Well, I don't you. Don't touch me, dude. Get the fuck me. out of my face. Brett is not having fun, so he just leaves. I'm sorry. Hey, John. I'm, sorry. I'm yeah. so sorry. Why don't you come over here and fucking deal with this shit? This trip to Vegas is not what I had in mind. Thumbs up. And 
Big John is like, what the heck, you guys? I feel like such a jerk. I let my temper get the best of me. You're yeah. sucking your way out of that. I don't fucking need anybody to I have you or a no, boyfriend. My boyfriend is my roommate. What am I supposed to do? How about you be an independent woman and make your own money? I do I make my own. Oh, oh shit, here comes Brett. He's pissed. Go. Listen to me. I'm f***ing done. It's ruining my f***ing night. Listen, I let you guys try to work it out. You're not working it out. You walk over to my room right now. I'm done, man. I'm f***ing done. This is going bad. I wanted this time to be a party. I did not want to fight. He makes everyone go back to the room so that he can talk to Daisy uh, again. Are you here for the right reason? I hope, I hope that you are. <laughs> I am here because I want love. I know that Daisy's got a whole lot of deep-rooted issues, but most people would have snapped by now and just said, I'm out. Brett knows just how to cheer me up. Destiny is worried she could be going home. I feel like maybe I could be going home because of my outburst last night. They don't work well together. That's Anger and alcohol. I'm hoping that I can fix the damage that was done last night. She acted a total fool. Brett and Heather are gonna talk about everything. Amber, I like Amber a lot. I think she's solid. Is that your type though? You think there's any love with Jessica or not? Jessica's smart, you know what I'm saying? And so she's sitting back and she's letting everybody else. Can she handle my lifestyle? Probably doubtful after last night. Destiny. Destiny is one to punch Christy Joan in the face, Ina in the face, Megan right. in the face. Yeah, Destiny has been the aggressive one. The way Destiny was and how aggressive she was and knocking her drink over, I am very concerned that Destiny may not be cool to hang with backstage. I can't get into any more of their heads any further with you here. You're too big of an entity. It's now up to me to finish this on my own. It's time for Heather to go home. She was able to reveal some necessary information for us over the last two episodes. I will always have your back. There will always be love for each other. Thank you for coming here and doing this. I really mean that. And I and I do love you. I'm lucky to have you in my life. Yeah, absolutely. Ew. Why do they kiss on the mouth? You could have just married her. <laughs> we really, really, truly are great friends. I feel really happy that Heather is leaving because I don't want any more drama. Brett decides to spend a little time with Jessica and Daisy before elimination. There's something about you that is, that is, when I say innocent, sexy, I don't mean like, just I don't mean jaded. like, you're just not jaded. And I love that about right. you. After my one-on-one -on -one with Brett, I am now even more confused than ever. You and me both, Jessica. He has told me how much he cares about me and all of the positive things he thinks of me, but he's also told me that he still has some big concerns. He talks to Daisy on a giant stage. <laughs> Daisy is a bottomless pit of turmoil. Every day, something new. Maybe it's not her that's messed up. Maybe it's me. Brett wants to know if she has anything else that she needs to tell him. Anything. God, I didn't know we were gonna get so freaking really deep into this shit. I haven't had enough time to tell Brett my entire life story, but apparently this is what he wants. What else could there possibly be? Obviously I'm a fan of your band. Right. And um, there was a period about a couple years ago where I actually had befriended Cece. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, I can't believe it's easy to develop from poison calling me. What the fuck? Oh, oh no. Apparently Daisy was friends with a member of his band Poison. It is a big concern of mine that Daisy is now just telling me she has hung out with CC. This is awkward. This is what I'm talking about. Like I can't seem to get to the bottom. Of, of the barrel like it just keeps coming out yeah how did she never even mention that i don't care about if you went out with some guy in denver i'll never meet in my life yeah. that's your business so going out with a bandmate of mine who i see but i didn't go out that should have been a talk on like day one i pray that daisy is not just a groupie if i tell him the truth and what what has gone on in my life he's not gonna be cool with it but on the other hand if i don't tell him then i'm screwed there too but it's time for, drum roll please, elimination. I don't know who Brett will send home tonight, but I could see it being destiny. I know that he needs a woman who's grounded. I am nervous because last night I 
went off on Daisy because I was just not gonna put up with any more lies. It's definitely between Destiny and Daisy, but who will he choose? We shall see. Going into elimination, I'm feeling pretty good because right now I feel like there are bigger fish to fry. Seriously, Daisy needs to go home. There's so many skeletons in her closet. She just needs to go home. Here we go. Good evening, ladies. Three of you will be staying, and one of you, unfortunately, is going home tonight. John, will you hit me with the pass? This is a person that it is very obvious in this room that I have a lot of passion for and I want to believe in. Daisy, would you come up here, please? Holy shit. He chooses Daisy first to stay. <laughs> I love you. I just, I just really want to tell him, like at that moment, that I love him. It, it seems like every time we talk, something else just seems to kind of come falling out. I'm over it. I'm hoping to God that we are past everything we need to be past. I'm truly in shock, and so is she from the looks of it. Everybody here has a past. Okay, we all have things that we've done, both good and bad. I know I have, but I need to know who the hell you are. Okay, do you understand me? Do you want to stay here in this house and rock my board? I, absolutely forever. Damn, all right. I really thought it was her time to go. I know there's a past there. I know there's a lot of unanswered questions, but I am falling in love with this girl. Craziness and all. This next girl that I want to keep here, she is strong. She's smart. She lets everybody know how she feels. Amber, would you come down here, please? Amber is his next pick. You know, I'm really excited I get the pass, and I'm thinking I'm feeling more on solid ground at this point, but I want to keep making this connection with Brad. So now it's down to Jessica and Destiny. I really didn't see that coming. Jessica, you are real, you are sincere. What I fear, it is the innocence and the youngness. Destiny, you have a pretty quick temper. What I fear is that you are a complete wild child. I'm just, I'm very passionate about him. She calls it passion. I call it you need anger management. Jessica and Destiny are the last two standing and there's one pass left. And I am thinking, who the hell's gonna go home? John? Destiny, would you come down here, please? He calls Destiny down. When someone gets straight up in your face and you don't lose your temper, do you feel you can handle it? Two. I thought that's what you would say. So I want you to stay here and rock my world, okay? All right? Wow, and he lets her stay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am so relieved I got my pass. Now I'm gonna bring it. So sweet Jessica will be going home. Inevitably, I sent Jessica home for one simple reason. Sexy as she was, she needed to find someone in her life that was a young soul like her. I don't regret it. Every part of me was real and there for him, and he knows that. And if you're not right for someone, I guess you're just not right for someone. It's a more somber Brett's Brew today. Here's to our girl Jessica, who I don't have a bad thing to say about. I'm happy to be here with all three of you, and I want rock of love. I don't want rock alike or lust. So let's try to make it happen. Right now, it is the Holy Trinity, and I need to find one of them who's going to rock my world. <laughs> It's crazy that there's only three ladies left. So after 20 women living in here for God knows how long, the house is completely quiet. Good morning, ladies. Got a few accessories with the note this morning. Let's hear our lovely note from Brett. Get yourselves ready and clean up this place. <laughs> Today's adventure brings a familiar face. I'll see you in one hour, love, Brett. The ladies are going to have to clean the house because mommies and daddies are coming to visit. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> there is my dad and I scream. <laughs> Aw, Amber's dad is here. What a sweet long hug. I cannot wait for him to meet Brett. Whoa, where's the bandana? Hello, sir. Sir? They had to edit this, it's like never ending. He has a very powerful spiritual connection with Amber. 
interesting. Sir? Sir? The next day. Hey! There's no way. <laughs> My father is a down home southern gentleman, conservative. He's a church going man, and a part of me is kind of nervous about what my dad is gonna be subjected to. Oh my God, I hope he's prepared. Daisy is wondering who will come for her. Seeing Amber and her dad, it sucks because last time I saw my dad, I was 17. And the last time I saw my mom, I was 20. I don't know who's coming for me. I'm really scared that I'm gonna be the loner crab baby today. And I don't know what Brad's gonna think of, of me not having family. Who can it be now? Destiny's family is here. Mom and Dad. Ah, Mom and Dad! Very very nice, to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Buddy. Thank you. Very Destiny's parents seem very hippie-ish. Biker hippie-ish. It's kind of cool. You got some beautiful bikes. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, we'll get in. We'll take a good look at them later, too. All right. Dude has a forehead tattoo. I feel awkward. I've been on my own since I was 15, and I wish that I had you know, parents there at certain points. The doorbell rings one last time and Daisy runs down to see who it is. There's a knock at the door. I'm like, what the hell? There you are. Can you come down, please? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sweetie. It's Stephanie. It's her ex's sister, Stephanie. <gasps> oh, Daisy. Oh, and it seems like they have a good relationship. She is basically like my surrogate sister. <laughs> this is Brett. Hi, Hi. how are you? This is Stephanie, and this is Hi, Charles' Stephanie. sister. Brett is slightly weirded out about it, but I feel like that's unnecessary. A little awkward. Thank Make you. yourself at home. I'll see you in a minute. So Brett's playing bartender, and everyone's having a nice time. Yourself? Anything? I got a Pepsi. You got a Pepsi? You don't no. drink at all? No, I'm drinking. No alcohol. Mm -hmm. a, a, a diabetic or? A, no, actually, I have cancer. Do you really? Liver cancer. That's sad. I totally did not expect that. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that. Did it? They right, gave gotcha. me till March. For real? Mm -hmm. I gotta tell you something. That that really hit me. I wanted yeah. to show you. Look, this is my bike. I just had it built this see. year. Brett and Destiny's dad have a nice connection over motorcycles. They feel it. Like I get on that bike and ride. I'm oh. free. You know what I mean? It's, I know it's, that feeling. It's a good feeling. It's just. It's a good feeling. I like to go fast. Yeah, <laughs> I can definitely relate to Tommy right now. So now Brett's gonna barbecue with Amber and Destiny's dads. To really get to know the parents, I figure why not have a barbecue? All playing fields are leveled with one good barbecue. Right, my oldest daughter, her name's Jenny. She's 44. Amber is 37. What is her age? 37. Amber lied about her age or possibly just said the wrong number because a lot of the times if someone asks me how old I am, I have to think about it for a minute. <laughs> Amber's dad drops a big bombshell on me. He tells me that Amber is 37. Amber told me she's 32. Amber lied to me. Immediately, red flag. I am wondering what the hell else Amber is lying about. That's like weird, but it's not a total deal breaker, right? But of course, Brett doesn't see it that way. Anyways, they're hanging out in the backyard. Good meat. I'll take a breast. Oh, <laughs> so will thee. <laughs> I like breasts. <laughs> That's a heck of a breast. That's such a big breast. <laughs> Brett, do you see the biggest breast? I do. It's kind of fun to watch him juggle all three families. I think I'm embarrassed for my dad. I don't know if he finds this amusing or what. Yeah, I don't know. Lord. Cheers, everybody. And they genuinely seem like they're all having a good time, surprisingly. <laughs> Love you, man. I think we got something really awesome for you to see from the new tour. Right now, one of the most important things is for me to really show them a true side of my life. This is rock and roll. This is a little cut from this year's concert from St. Louis. Brett takes them down to the Brett Cave. Why didn't I think of that before? That's so good. We just wanted our fans to see a live, raw, uncut night of us playing. So this is what you'll get to see. Woo! Yeah! Destiny is dancing around like a foal. That's it. While Brett ignores it and just holds Amber's hand. I'm just enjoying a fine quality music video when suddenly Destiny becomes more beast than man. It's insane. He's just not into it. He's holding my hand and he's watching his show. That's pretty cool. I'm worried that she's not gonna love Brett Michaels off the stage. Brett is going to take the ladies' friends and families out one at a time to get to know them better and to probably try to get dirt on each girl. Daisy and Stephanie, you're going on a date with me tonight. Are you ready? Yes. All right. I was gonna tell you, we're gonna miss you, Brett. 
Destiny is trying to make me jealous and wreck my date, but seriously, that, that was really just classless. Daisy and her friend go out with Brett first to some club. Rainbow is like one of the most famous rock and roll places ever. Well, yeah. We got the VIP oh, show Oh, look at this. Here. I'm excited that he picked me. Me. Did you go down the Viper room or no? No. I love that Daisy is chowing down on nachos <laughs> while she's talking. Like that, that's so me. This is the coolest, coolest date like ever. Here comes the big question, right? And I think you know what I'm gonna say. Brett is still stuck on whether Daisy and Charles are still banging or whatever. I'm trying to have a good time with Brett and have fun. Doesn't seem like an appropriate time to bring up baggage. Life is not a black and white. My life is color. What the hell are you talking about? I don't buy it. Back at the house. I'm gonna wait up for Daisy and Brett so I can kiss Brett one more time before bed. She has a strange conversation with Amber's dad. What if he chooses you? I'm gonna go back to my daily routine of, you know, doing music videos, acting, doing TV shows, whatever. In six months from now. I can't really say because that's six months from now. And then just walks away like, nailed it. There's no mention of Brett in Destiny's life at all. She's not as emotionally invested as Daisy and I are. And I'm thinking, what is she really wanting out of this experience? Is it Brett or is it the experience? Over to Brett and Daisy and her pal. The conversation is still on what's up with Daisy and Charles. Daisy tells me everything is over between her and Charles, but right now I'm just having a tough time buying it. Mm. You're seeing things as a guy. Not well, a guy. I don't know how else to see him. And for women, you're just like, nope, sorry. Stephanie sticks up for Daisy. There is no attraction. There is no physical attraction anymore yeah. because the emotion's not there. Exactly. Yeah. I respect that you are trying to protect yeah. your heart because Absolutely. that means there's something there yes. for you. And that was important to me yeah. to know that this was not just a game. I think this conversation helped a lot. Right now, Stephanie and Daisy's story is kind of adding up a little bit. Stephanie seems like a very straight shooter. She has truthful eyes, and right now, I'm believing her. There's been so much, like, feuding and fussing. It's fucked up shit that heat for him. It's like, maybe Daisy's just too nice and she lets Charles stay at her place. It's kind of dumb to speculate because we're never going to know all of the details. Since Brett has heard from me, Charles, and Stephanie, that we're completely over with, can you just trust me now? We're ready okay. to go? Yes. Okay. All right, let's do it. Their outing is over, and we fast forward to the next morning. Good morning, oh. folks. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to give that to you today. Destiny's going to read us a story. Our time is short, so let's make it last. Two more dates are coming fast. Amber, Destiny, and special guests get ready for fun and my final tests. From 20 to 3, the time draws near for one more girl to disappear. And that was written by Dr. Seuss. It's time for Destiny and her parents to do something with Brett. Yeah! I have plans for you today. I know you love to ride, so we got you a killer bike today. It's gonna be awesome for a great ride. Oh, yeah. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> I know he loves bikes and loves to ride as much as I do, so I thought no better way to spend this day than to get her parents on a bike put Destiny on a bike with me and go for a ride. Destiny's dad is so happy. They're having so much fun. This was awesome because they were truly surprised and happy and you could just feel the energy. This was gonna be a good day. Oh man, they're going to a tattoo parlor. You know what happened last time they went to a tattoo parlor. She got my name tattooed in the back of her neck. Do not get Brett's name on your neck. Since Destiny came in this house, she's been talking about getting a tattoo. Well, I'm gonna make that dream come true right now. I decided that I wanted to get the Rock of Love logo on the back of my neck. That's kind of similar. Is she trying to be Heather Jr.? Oh! Oh! You know, Destiny was very concerned that this tattoo was really, really gonna hurt. However, Destiny's face looks a little turned on by the pain. I think it's turning me on a little bit. We are done. Okay, yeah, that turned out better than I expected. Yay! Brett, thank you. Give me a hug. You're very thank welcome. You, so much. you are welcome. It's not my name, but I'm okay. <laughs> I'm dealing with that emotionally it right now. It represents you though. This is such an awesome experience and a day that I will never forget. Now Amber and her dad are going out with Brett. Mmm, to get sushi. I want to do something that Randall has never experienced. I love sushi, but my dad? 
I don't think he's ever tried that before, and my dad is a meat and potatoes kind of guy. This here's the ahi tuna. Think where you might want to start. That's a big piece of raw fish for your first try. I do this, but when it comes to getting it, it's a whole, like this one has to be yeah, longer yeah. out. Oh, you just, shut just up. reach in and dig. <laughs> You want some more? Did you like that? No, you don't know yet. Yay! Yay! I know. <laughs> One of the things I was going to ask you while we were here. Hey, what's up with your age not being 32? Brett found out from my father that I'm 37. Apparently, I told Brett a different age. In my mind, I never lied to him about it. I know she, she said something to me. If, if any of the girls asked what her age was to be evasive about it. Oh my gosh, her dad keeps like throwing her under the bus. But if it had anything to do with you, it would tell you what it was. Right. Let me just clear this up. I have a career. In this career, I have to stay younger than I am. I did tell the other girls that because I do have to protect that. But when it comes to you, I have absolutely nothing to hide. She's getting really emotional talking to Brett and her dad's just over here taking shots of sake. <laughs> the reason why I'm here right. is to find love and I found it and I don't want to lose you gotcha and I've fallen right I've fallen in love with you this could be my last chance to tell him how I feel will they go back to the house I have learned all I've wanted to learn from the parents and maybe a little more than I should have I mean, I've got a really really tough decision to make but I thank you all and, and I hope you had a great experience. Yeah, thank you very Good. much. And Brett has to get ready for elimination. So he says bye bye to the parents. I think any father feels like, you know, that uh, their daughter deserves probably better than Brett. Damn, dude. He's, he's a good guy. Even though it was an awkward situation, you made it very awesome. Even though you're the ex-boyfriend's sister, I won't hold that against you. <laughs> I hope that what I said to Brett clarified things for him as far as the relationship that Daisy and Chuck have. Thank you, and I hope that our paths will cross again. Destiny's dad like really wants Brett as his son-in-law. I hope that Destiny and Brett get together. I would definitely welcome Brett into my family. Amber is really convinced that she's going home. I firmly believe I'm going home tonight, so I need, I need to say it. There's one thing that kills me that I did not say to your face, and I feel bad about it, and it's killing me. I wasn't sure if you had completely given your heart to Brett. I'm not gonna fucking be like, yeah, I'm in love with you, Brett. I don't know him in that way. I can't say that. Amber loves Brett. Do you feel like you're in love with Brett at this point? Yeah, I am. I can't help it. I cannot control my heart. Would you still be here if it was like John Bon Jovi? Would you be here if it was John Stamos? What a weird question. Would you be here if it was the living on a prayer guy? Would you be here if it was Uncle Jesse? <laughs> like what? Dude, I can't answer that. Here we go, people. It's elimination time. It seems to me that Destiny is not here in love. I'm overwhelmed, I'm scared, but I don't regret telling him that I have fallen in love with him. I feel like I've done the best I can do to spend time with Brett, but I feel like maybe it just wasn't enough. This is gonna be a quick one with only two ladies staying. I cannot thank the three of you enough for allowing me to be part of your lives. I've got three absolutely beautiful girls who I care about a lot and one of you is going home tonight. He's gonna spill his feelings about each lady. I'm gonna start with you, Amber, first. What I absolutely love about you is your drive, your intelligence, your funniness, destiny. What I love about you is you are complete rock and roll. You're a wild child, Daisy. We have a very strong physical connection. You're very creative. I love the way you sing. You don't have just kind of a closet you have sort of a walk-in garage of certain amount of skeletons. What a burn on Daisy. We're working real hard to get through, and I'm not sure in my heart yet that I felt that I've worked through all of them. Daisy, is there anything at all, anything at all that you want to tell me? There's something that I do want to tell you. Ooh, what you gonna say? Earlier today, we had a conversation with Destiny, and she said that she is not 100% love you. Oh wow, she tells on Destiny. Nice. <laughs> I said, Amber I can't right say that I'm. Room. I said this to you as well, that I'm falling in love with you. I have, I've given everything. Right. And I feel like Daisy has too. 
after a very calm episode, we're finally getting to the good stuff. I cannot say that I am in love with you, but what I can say is I deeply care about you and I have feelings for you. Two girls today have told me that they are falling in love with me. One girl told me today that she was loving the experience. Destiny gets called down. <laughs> You're an awesome human being. You are awesome. You are a strong person. And everything, everything about you I love. I wish I would have just had more time to get to know you better. Looks like she'll be going home. This sucks very much. I think Brett and I would have made an awesome couple. I think we would have had so much fun. I want to go on the record officially of saying I'm not a crier. Brett claims he's not a crier. But uh, I just saw you wipe your tear, Brett. You ain't fooling anyone. So wow, just like that, it's down to Daisy and Amber for the finale. I am so happy I've got down to two beautiful girls who I care about, obviously, insanely. We are going to be taking a huge trip. And guess what? They're going to Cancun. I realize, oh my god, it's the final two and it's me and Daisy of all people. I'm thinking this could work out fine for, you know, this feels real good. Ready to rock that world? Yes! I'll cheers with my coffee. Cheers! <laughs> Don't need nothing but a good time. Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Brett Michaels, lead singer of Poison. Today is the finale episode, which means I have a tough decision ahead of me, but I get to pick my rock of love, and I'll give her this flower as a token of my appreciation. The one lady that I choose, her life will change forever. This is gonna be a fun one. It's finale time. Buckle your seatbelts. We're all going to Cancun. Welcome to your room. <gasps> oh my God. Our gold for sweet and Brett give us some presents. I love it. Enjoy your gifts and I will see you tonight for dinner. Love, Brett. <laughs> it's time for Amber and Daisy to have dinner with Brett. Well, hello. How are you doing tonight? Now this dinner is very important to me because I got a huge decision to make. I need to dig deep and really find out which one of these two girls is gonna be the right one for me. Brett wants to just like learn more about each woman. I have so many good questions, not just bad questions on anything, just just, just stuff, just yeah, talk about life, questions. you know what I mean? I have some questions too. I just want to talk about, you know, the fact that well, you guys... Well, I have to ha I have a list. I have a list. Oh, no. That's amazing. That would literally be me, though. I have to make lists for everything. Oh, oh shit. no. Well, and a pencil. Day, so Jeez. And frankly, I'm surprised that she knows how to read the words off the piece of paper. Ooh. <laughs> At this point in the show, Amber is being brutal. Like, in the best way. <laughs> I love that for her. <laughs> You use your sexuality a lot, okay? But I don't, like, I don't do it on, like, intentionally. Like, I don't think you do it intentionally, Daisy, but that's something that, that that you do. It's getting heated. Okay, well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw all this out there then. Right. I know what I bring to the table, and I don't, I wanna know what you think we bring to the table. Go, Amber, go! I just wanna be clear, I'm not really rooting for either girl to win or lose. May the best woman win. I feel you, sometimes you have this ability to just wanna win at all costs. And, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm throwing Okay, I just wanna do this. I'm sorry, I've just gotta do this. And Amber's like, no, nah, watch this though. <laughs> Amber sure has a way with words. Daisy straight up says that she does not think Amber dates guys typically like me. Okay, Brett, we've discussed this. You know, not the typical person that I would normally date. You're exactly what I'm looking for. And that stands out above it anything else. Over the next few days, I got to get to learn a lot more about these girls. He's gonna learn. I have what I think, I know you like adventure. I have an amazing date planned for us tomorrow. So Daisy will be left alone, boo hoo. It sucks really bad. I am not gonna be able to see Brett for an entire day. I'll see you both tomorrow, okay? Okay, all right. Good night. In my heart, I wanna believe that he's gonna pick me but I'm so terrified because I have no idea what's gonna happen. 
let's fast forward to tomorrow. And now we're down further. Hi, my legs were going numb. <laughs> I'm so excited because I'm spending the whole day with Brett. But then again, I'm scared because it's the last day I'll spend with Brett before he makes his decision. Daisy wants to know why Amber said that thing about her using her sexuality to get things. When you said that I just used my sexuality, it really hurt my feelings. The thing about it is, is that I'm just myself and I'm comf that's how comfortable I am myself. Like, I am not afraid to be sexy. But Daisy just says that's just how she naturally is. She can't help it. Obviously, you aren't, you don't feel sexy. Dude, like, I know what? I, can I am totally sexy and I feel sexy in my body. People are truly comfortable in their body. They carry themselves in a particular manner. You okay, how am I not conducting myself in this particular because manner? Because when you walk, you walk like this. Oh, <laughs> I can't. She said Amber walks like this. <laughs> Surgery can make me hotter. Surgery's not going to make her smarter. Why don't you just acknowledge that we're completely different We are people. completely different. You leave well, with sexuality. I don't I leave, leave with sexuality. You know though, what? Why don't you? Me. I'm sick of you yelling over me. I have thoughts too. All you do is like, Bleh. I don't even know where this is going anymore. I feel sexy and I wanted to let Amber know that obviously maybe she's attacking me because she's jealous because she wishes she could be sexy. I'm sorry I'm sexy, Amber, but you know what? Get over it. I'm more sexy. No, I'm more sexy. It's time for Amber and Brett's date and they go to a cool zoo thing. He looks so beautiful and so hot and I'm just loving it. I look how beautiful. Brett just wants to poke everything. Oh my god! <laughs> For you, my love. Thank you! <laughs> they take us on a boat to these tables and we find out that we're getting massages. Next to a waterfall. How, how romantic is that? So we're laying down, getting our massages, then thinking, you know what? Brett's way over there. Amber ambushes her prey while he's sleeping. <laughs> I feel someone crawl on my back. Now, I'm hoping it's not the guy massaging me. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> okay. And then they make out for a long, long time. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I'm like, I got happy feet. Yay! <laughs> then they go eat next to the dang ocean. Isn't it funny how fate works? Because in the very beginning, Amber was one of the first girls that was supposed to go home. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm feeling very emotionally connected to her right now. Yeah, good point, Brett. Amber actually almost went home in the first episode. I was almost eliminated. Would you continue to stay in this house and rock my world? I think it would be better if I would go home and give another girl a chance. Amber, would you be willing to stay in this house and continue to rock my world? Yay! Wait, what? <laughs> She got lucky. Amber knows who she is. She's got a great career, and I know we have great chemistry. But can she really hang as a rock star girlfriend? They basically come to the conclusion that Daisy is Brett's usual type, and Amber just has something different about her. I'm secure enough in myself to know that that that's your job, and you do what you love, and it right. makes you happy. Right. But it doesn't... in the end, you come home. Do you feel like you've had a good time? Oh my God, yes. Shall we I... have one cheer to the ocean? And yes, go. let's have a cheer to the ocean. They nook in each other's nook. I fit in your nook. You nook in me. Yeah, I'm nooking you. I like the way you nook in my nook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amber and I cleared the air on a lot of issues today on this date, and I think she likes where she's at in her life, which makes me like being at where I'm at with her. I want a dramatic scene. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Goodbye, my love, for one hour. For one hour. They're all done for an hour, and then they're going to dinner. Didn't they just eat? The password, please. Daisy's a grumpy baby. So what did you do? <laughs> I mean, why are you asking? Well, because I want to know. Dude, seriously, the shit you said to me, like, I don't even think that you deserve an answer right now. Well, whatever, that's fine. I don't really care. Amber has an hour to get ready for dinner with Brett, but instead she's going to spend the entire thing bickering with Daisy. So I walk back into the room from this beautiful date 
Daisy's copping attitude with me again. It is just like I'm over it. I just want I just curious to know what you guys did, that's all. You know what? For such a pretty girl, you're the ugliest woman I've ever met in my life. They're both being gross right now. Well, great. That's awesome. What did I say to you that was so horrible? Dude, you were doing impressions of me and telling me that I need oh, help as I walk out the God. door and making slams all over me. Amber just needs to ignore her. I feel like the producers are just off to the side. Like, keep going. Keep, keep saying stuff. Amber, I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here to... Dude, I'm here for Brett too, but okay. dude. I really want Brett to see this ugly side in Daisy. I think you're a hateful bitch. Oh, okay. Thank you. Bitch. <laughs> Let's get one thing straight. Brett does not like to dress up. I just need to relax, kick back, and have fun with Amber. I need to know that the two of us can do that. I got a little surprise for you. Oh my god! I think it's beautiful. It's a little rock and roll, Yeah. meets a little cool, meets a little classy. Amber gets some cool jewelry. I love that he knows me so well because it absolutely suits me to a T. I love it. I feel very, very myself when I'm around Amber. I'm liking where this is going. They get all cute and then it's ruined instantly. For the record, I'm not wearing any underwear. Nothing. One of the sweetest things a woman could ever say to a man. Check, please. <laughs> so yeah, they're gonna go up to Brett's suite and do things. Couch to make love on. Perfect. Table to make love on. Perfect. Peanut area to make love on. <laughs> oh, how did this odd bed get oh put out God. here? Oh my God, with all the candles. Can you believe, I don't know how it happened. <laughs> The next morning, Amber does the good old walk of shame. I walk back into that room and I see Daisy. So did you have a lovely time last night, Amber? I absolutely, absolutely did. Oh, that's beautiful. She's being petty as heck. I'm here for it. Petty at my breakfast because I know I'm going to need lots of energy today. Dude, why do you have to act so immature? Like, seriously, Daisy. Maybe I was trying to be a little extra excited to make her mad, but I really was excited to see Brett. It's time for her date with Brett. Run to me, come, my baby. Oh, oh. I'm just really excited that I get to see Brett. I haven't seen him in like a whole freaking day. I can't wait no more. I want to find out what's going on inside her noggin, in her heart, in her soul. Brett just wants to deepen his connection with Daisy. And then suck face with her. At first, it was just like, man, that's going to be amazing sex. She's a party girl. And honestly, that's what I thought. And then as I got to know you, I felt much, much closer, which is why we're here, just trying to figure out from your past where you're at in your life now. She just kind of babbles out some words. It just sometimes I throws you a curveball. So it's good to know, but, you know, sometimes, you know. The fact that Daisy is noticeably confused about this question makes me wonder if she's really, really ready to have a relationship with me. All right, we're going to take a break. Let's go up in the deck. We're going to put their hands up at the same time. Whee! They're the king of the world. <laughs> the water is amazing. He's amazing. Everything's going awesome. And then all of a sudden, insanely crazy. And I'm just like, mm -hmm, yeah. Enjoy it like a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah. That's how you got to look at it. But they're gonna try to fish. The guy is talking about what you're supposed to do when you're going fishing, and all I can think about is. But they can't, because Daisy's way too sick. You feel like you're gonna faint? Yeah, like I'm losing like a lot of circulation in my hands. That's you're losing circulation in your hands? Yeah, so like they're getting really stiff, and I can't like move them. <laughs> That's not good. It's not good. Okay, so what we're gonna do today, I'm just gonna turn around and fishing will not be our thing. How's that sound? <laughs> Brett's cool about it and they go back to land eventually because it probably takes a long time for them to get like turn around and shit. Like seriously, like somebody please help me. <laughs> somebody please save me. I love it. She's puking so much. My stomach is like, uh, boats. No. Let's just fast forward to when they get to land. I'm thinking maybe we should meet, we'll part, get sexy dressed up, go to dinner. That's good. Cool? Yeah. Awesome. They're gonna go get changed and have din din. Oh. My. God. That is hot. Check please. 
Daisy at this point can tell me anything she wants because I am so hot on this girl right now and she looks so beautiful. I bought you something beautiful. You did? Yes, and it's right here. He gives Daisy the same exact necklace that he got for Amber. I thought that was gonna be like a special thing that he got just for Amber. He picked it out, special. Nope, gotta get them both one. <laughs> I just want you to know that you are such an amazing person. I'm ready to like move on and grow and change. That would be so. awesome. And I love that. <sighs> I just have to throw this out there just because. <laughs> go ahead. Just Wait, saying. should I take a drink first? Maybe. Okay, go ahead. Um, Daisy wastes her date, basically, and brings up Amber. She got really defensive. Like, I mean, I'm not the girl, obviously, with the white picket fence. And so, yeah, I just think that Amber, I don't, I, I don't say you know what, I don't. You know what you want to say. So just... Amber's just boring. <laughs> Brett is like meh, but then Daisy says she's in love with him. Daisy looks me right in the eye and says she is crazy ass in love with me. She may damn well just be the girl for me. This date has had its ups and its downs, and now I'm totally ready for a hot, steamy, romantic night. So much making out. The next morning, Daisy is out of there. Hold on. They're just not gonna talk. So Daisy waltzes in this morning and I'm totally confused right now by Daisy's attitude. She's antagonizing me this whole time and then the minute she comes back, it's silence. Am I missing something here? Well, until they start fighting. <laughs> you were mean to me the whole time How I was, was going on a date. You, Amber? you called me names, said I was not sexy. You imitated my walk okay. and said I slept okay. with Okay, over with now. Over I with am now. You said, okay, I just asked you a question. You said, well, give me examples. I'm giving you examples and now you're mad. <sighs> Daisy says words, but like doesn't actually say anything. <laughs> Ever since yesterday, you went on your date, you haven't said word one to me. And I want to know why the sudden change. I'm trying to fucking do my thing with Brett. Like, I'm in my own world with Brett. I don't even... This is like... Do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> they go on and on. Daisy is the most immature 25-year-old that I've ever met. I don't even want to have this conversation. It's pointless to me. Pointless. Yeah, but you've changed since you've been here. How have I changed? You, this is the first time became... we've hung out. Daisy just doesn't want to talk about it. You fucking degraded me by calling me a fucking stripper. Dude, that's your occupation. I'm a TV host. You're a stripper. Uh, uh, seriously? It's Shh. just like immature. Seriously. Seriously. You're being immature, Daisy. Shh. Just, I don't want to talk I just, about it. Okay. I don't care. And she goes outside and just cries all day, I guess. I don't know what's gonna happen. Until they get a note from Brett. We find out that he's treating us to spa treatments, and that is so incredibly sweet. I need something to get my mind off of all this. While they're relaxing at their spa, Brett is walking on the beach, contemplating his decision yet again for the second year. Today's elimination day, and I've got a huge knot in my gut. I picked the wrong girl last season, and I do not want to make the wrong decision this time. Why is he sitting on the sand in jeans? <laughs> Amber, mature, knows what she wants, confident, close to my age, gets it. Love that. Daisy, sexy as hell, loves music, digs the rocker lifestyle. She's a great free spirit. Now he's ready to make his choice. I hate that I have to make this choice, but I know it's time. Ladies and gentlemen, now presenting burr, 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 Elimination Time. Who's he gonna choose, y'all? They gotta walk down a thousand stairs to find out their fate. I'm just emotionally a big wreck right now. It's nothing I've ever felt before. It's the scariest thing I've ever felt before. Whoa, and Brett comes out of a hole in the ground. <laughs> this is awesome. Daisy and Amber, you look incredibly, incredibly beautiful tonight. And I want to thank you both for taking this incredible, incredible journey with me. I know I have an unbelievable decision that I've got to make tonight. Here we go. I gotta get down and ready for this one. Daisy, you, without a doubt, 
You are, from the word go, rock and roll through and through to the bone. And I love that about you. And you, Amber, are rock solid as a human being and where you are in your life. I wasn't walking in here looking for rock alike. I was not looking for rock of lust. I was really actually attempting to find rock of love, which is tough enough in this world to begin with, right? If Brett chooses me tonight, it'll feel like absolute heaven. And Amber is bawling her eyes out. It will kill me if he ends up with Daisy because I believe that they're not right for each other. And this is one of the toughest decisions I've ever made in my life. Daisy, would you come down here, please? Holy wow. Like, wow, he's picking me. You know how much I love you and care about you. This Torrance here. Wow, wow, wow. He sends her home. You are absolutely beautiful. But I love being with you. I love being around you. I just don't think it's going to work for us. Brett just eliminated me. And it sucks because I love him. I'm fucking in love with him. Poor Daisy. She's a wreck. I tried the best that I could to get him to trust me. And obviously he couldn't or didn't want to or... Or what? I don't even know. Sorry. I just want to curl up in a ball and eat a lot of ice cream. Amber is his rock of love. Amber, you are my rock of love. <laughs> Will you come down here, please? <laughs> Winner! <laughs> you have won. I got my rock of lust. I got my rock alike, and most importantly, I found my rock of love. He's the man of my dreams. He is absolutely what I've been waiting, what I've been searching, what I've been hoping for and praying for. Now let's go have hot monkey sex. Can we please? In the Mayan jungle. <laughs> Look who's back. Ricky Raccoon or whatever. I'm Ricky Raccoon and it's Rock of Love 2 reunion time. Tonight we'll relive the people and events that made the season so unforgettable and we'll reunite him with the girl he chose to see if his long search for love on TV might finally have worked out in the real world. Slow down, Ricky. I can barely understand ya. Eight months ago, we gathered on this very stage. So they did two seasons in just one year. That's insane. They were really pumping this one out. All they had was dollar signs in their eyes, apparently. Here's the ladies we came to love from season two. Jackie. Oh, wow. Tina. Ashley. Who? Roxy. Aubrey. Angelique. Catherine. Corey. Nikki. Aaron. Courtney. Oh my gosh, Courtney with her blanket that she hid in whenever she got eliminated in the very beginning. I'm going home. I'm a dumb bitch. Jessica. Daisy. Peyton. Destiny, Missy, Megan, Chris Dicho. I think it's sad at this point that I know almost every single girl's name. Well, it's Brett time. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, she didn't say that. What a terrible edit. <laughs> I don't know why this confused me so bad, but it really threw me off. Oh boy, to start us off, we're gonna have a look at Angelique. Nobody could match the real insanity inside the house. Insanity that was helped along by the funniest French import since Pepe Le Pew. I'm of course talking about Angelique. We shall take a look, no? <laughs> I'm so excited because I'm a stripper, so this is my atmosphere. I'm gonna have to be a stripper right now. When Angelique got on the stripper pole, I seriously just wanted to puke. I love how dramatic Aubrey is right here. She made it so that I don't ever want to walk into a strip club for the rest of my life. They show all the times she got naked, which was most of the time she was there. Angelique, come up here. The crowd is so cheesy. I can't stand it. I just want to say, like, uh, Aubrey, 
I really think you are fake. On seriously, you talk about me, but did you see yourself? You look like a rat on crack. On whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, everybody. Shannon, what was she bitch, saying? You're so fake. Are you speaking English? Bitch, you're so fake. Kiss my perfect puppy ass. You're a fucking she man, dude. Yeah, whatever. Shut the fuck up. So much just happened so fast. I'm pretty sure Aubrey just got racist and sexist. Um, let's keep going. From what I hear, you've stopped dancing, and I guess that's something I say congratulations. <laughs> It's kind of sad I stopped dancing because I love to be a stripper and I really like, no. you know, I like to be <laughs> naked and everything. And I had to retire because everybody wants to just hang out with me because they saw me on TV and it doesn't work this way when you're a dancer. Angelique is entertaining. I'll give her that. <laughs> but I would like to do my last dance for you, Brett. Bring it. Bring it on. She's going to give Brett her last dance ever. And we'll move on to the next lady. Brett, you eliminated several girls because you feared that they couldn't hang with a rocker. But you also got rid of one because you feared that hanging with a rocker, really any rocker, was all that you wanted to do. Let's take a look. Destiny is rock and roll, and I love that. Stretching is good. Another one that we saw get naked. <laughs> Seeing you face to face is like a dream come true for me. I had you plastered on every picture. <laughs> we got it. I am not a psycho fan. She was a party girl. I find myself talking more and more like Brett every time I do one of these. And it's just not, it's not great. Party girlfriend. Destiny talks to Brett and Rick and clears some of the rumors that she's just a groupie. I, I definitely am not a groupie. I love the rockers. Right. But I feel like you need a girl, a woman that can, that understands the lifestyle. And I've been around it quite a bit. I don't think you're a psycho groupie. I think you're just a girl that loves rock you music. Not. I don't. And then we have the saddest thing I've ever seen. If you watch the episode where the parents come to visit, you know that Destiny's dad has terminal cancer. Her mom and dad were awesome people. And you know, we got a chance to go out um, and ride. And we took him out on a Harley ride, which I think inevitably we talked about that. That would be we got a clip of it. Oh, we do. Oh, sure. Yeah, let's, let's take a look. Destiny is watching and just crying. And a lot of the ladies come down and give her hugs. Unfortunately, Destiny's dad ended up passing away two weeks before the filming of the reunion episode. That yeah. was a very special day for all of us and one that I'll never forget. And I know that he'll never forget. And I know he's in a better place now. And <laughs> I just want to thank you, Brett, for You're welcome giving him that special day. Damn, dude. Now it's time for Krusty Joe. I mean, Krusty Cream. I mean, Krusty Joe. <laughs> On this season's Rock of Love, there was crying, there was screaming, doors being slammed, bags being packed, and nearly all of it came from just one girl. <laughs> Let's take a look at Krusty Joe's turbulent ride through the House of Rock. This flashback is legitimately all drama. I'm still legally married. Legally married. Legally. I'm so pissed, but I cannot believe you fucking said that about me. Do you want this fucking answer or not? Hi oh. <laughs> Before we start, I think we're probably gonna need a box of Kleenex and maybe some Prozac up here. Uh, Ew, a Prozac joke? Come on, man. I take Prozac. <laughs> it's so normal now, but I guess back in 2008, it was still weird to go to therapy and take care of your mental well-being. Ooh. This is the thing that I don't understand, what you're going on a reality show the for, looking for lust. <laughs> no, when you're married. That's what I don't understand. You were married going on this show. Rocky Raccoon over here makes this super weird. Or is he correct? Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> Hundreds of people in America that True. date people when they're separated. I don't think I'm a bad person and I'm not gonna be judged. So I suppose that now you're single, right? No, um, I was numb for in my marriage for so long. And you know, going on here- Daisy tries to call out Brett. I'm wondering why it was that you never really sort of addressed her marriage in a way that you addressed me with me living with basically my roommate that just happened to be my ex-boyfriend. He has nothing new to say. I laid into Christy Joe hard and big time. I, I was confused. Daisy, can we talk do about you me? live with your boyfriend? No, I don't. <laughs> Are you married and do you live with your husband? Ricky is really hating on Chrissy Joe. Here you are going after a girl that isn't 100% available, and there's a lot of drama there, and maybe a little bit psycho. Okay. And you want that because she doesn't want you 100%. Psycho is and it's going back and forth, and then there's just so many issues that you gotta say, there's hey, a lot you know, of psycho, I'm though. gonna cancel the subscription. I don't want any more issues. <laughs> no, no, no. But Chrissy's main girl, Aubrey, sticks up for her as per usual. I heard that the reason really that you had left is because you knew that exes were coming on. How would I know that? Daisy, she also put down on there his name 
name and number, and who the hell would do that with someone that they're in love with, you know, except for Megan? One thing, one thing. And now we're gonna talk about Christy and Aubrey's love for each other. We have pretty intense conversations and we get closer and um, the feelings just seem to keep growing. I wish I could have gone on your date with you. That would have been fun. I wish you would too. I told you I wish it was me and you and your, your hair smells good. Oh my gosh, they do love each other. Like for real, for real. My heart just fell out of my body. Do you know that I love you? You're such an amazing, amazing person. Will you marry me? Yes. That girl's amazing. Maybe it was a woman of my work. <laughs> I don't know, it's a Brett freaking loves it. We made Brett Michaels cry. When we got off the show, a lot of people thought that her and I, uh, our, our relationship, Just that we were right gay. There. I still want to keep on thinking that. Here's our favorite rocker of love, Peyton, performing a song she wrote about her time in the house. It's called We Rock for Love. Let's give it up for Peyton. Peyton performs a song. This is actually awesome. I love Peyton. And let's go. Time to chat with one of our favorite ladies from season one, who also helped out in season two, Heather. Tell me how the girls of season one compare to the girls of season two. I don't know, I just think the girls um, from season one, there was a lot more realness and not so much fake, desperate, you know, followers. Oh boy, they're gonna look back at whenever Heather joined Brett and the ladies for a couple episodes in this season and see all the drama that she milked out of the ladies. Uh, that sounded bad coming out of my mouth. <laughs> we still live together. Don't roll your eyes at me, bitch. And fuck, fuck you. <gasps> Daisy, come on up here. <laughs> Daisy, the last time that we saw you, you were kind of left alone on the beach in Mexico. You look like you're still pretty bummed out. Yeah, um... I mean, that was a really, really hard thing. Oh boy, Daisy's trying to say it felt like it was all about her looks and like sexualness. When we were in the lingerie shop, you know, that, that's something that sort of like pissed me off because you know, there is more to me than just a physical appearance or whatever. Here's, here's the thing, I never looked at you and said that's all it could ever be. You know, we slept together. Well, but you hooked up with him the whole time. Yeah, you know what, I did you know, because I couldn't help, okay, sure, let, me, let me finish. Hey, don't expect it to be civil if you have Heather there. You could have just said, to me, hey, let's cuddle and just spend the rest of the time together. But instead, <laughs> felt like you were taking advantage of me, taking advantage of my vulnerability and my feelings, and you ultimately sealed the deal. <laughs> I'm not just some fucking chick that he can just sleep with. You know, but I'm not. You shouldn't act like that. You know what? I... She's so good at the drama. Take it easy. I don't have any slutty ass. Yes, you're a fucking dirt whore. Okay, you yeah, I'm a dirt whore. Second. He fucking whore. kicked oh. her ass. You can have no, my no, leftovers. No. Whatever, Stevie Nicks. <laughs> I didn't ruin your life. Time your out. slutty ass actions ruin your on. fucking life. Ricky is prepared for a fight. Stop. Stop. You couldn't pay me enough to Please. be you. Oh, really? Then why do all your photo shoots look like mine? Why you got what your hair curly you like mine? About, bitch, fuck you. Or <laughs> yes. Holy shit, I was right. Oh my god, no. That just happened. No, kid, you always take your time. I'm not really sure what just happened. I'm not sure what just happened either, my man. Was that planned? Things got a little bit out of control. Daisy looks fine. Fate seemed determined that Brett and Amber find love. It's time to talk to our winner of season two, Amber. <laughs> With you. Yeah, why don't yeah. you sit over there? I want to sit down. All right. They actually look good together. You almost got like eliminated from the very get go. Yeah, yeah, it was incredible. I mean, how fate works, and this has been an incredible journey. It really has. Aw, Amber really likes him. Is this the first time you've seen her since the show ended? Because that's what you're supposed to do, Brett Michaels. Um, he came to Chicago. He was performing. We spent some alone time together. He showed me, <laughs> he showed me his tour bus, which was um, really I'm cool. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> we get to hear about Amber's experience dating Brett so far. And when you see all those girls, is that hard for you to see? You know, it, it's crazy. And, you know, I, I got to tell you, it kind of turned me on. It did? <laughs> I want us to see what happens. And we're dating. And... I'm, I'm excited about that. Me too. Yeah. 
But as we know, since this came out like 15 years ago, Amber and Brett don't stay together very long. According to an interview Amber did with BuddyTV.com back in 2008, they dated for nine or 10 months. They tried really hard. In the end, they broke up because of scheduling conflicts. I love that they actually tried. lead singer of Poison and Million CD sold. 